as well as the other senators that may come in um, as they come in. Go ahead, please, Sherry. Good morning, sir. Uh, our guest list for today, Senator Jose Ramon Starting from the governors of Region 3, Honorable Susan Yap Sulit, represented by her Chief of Staff, Attorney Armi Ibardone. Uh, may I ask uh, uh, if you can raise your hand so I can see you? Uh, where is Ms. Ibardone? Is Ms. Ibardone there, please? Earlier, sir, she is there. Uh, Honorable Daniel Fernando, represented by Attorney Baile Santos. Please raise your hand. Uh, so there is no representation. Uh, Honorable uh, Hermogene Sidani, represented by Attorney Joe Elaine Culiado. Elaine, are you there? Elaine Culiado? Please uh, speak through the microphone and say you're there, present. Uh, from government offices, we so have... Moment, uh, so moment, Madam Secretary, I need to know if they're there. Can you please uh, look at the screen yourself? So I... Uh, Ms. Elaine Culiado, are you there? Please sound off if you're there. So uh, there are three representatives that are not present. Okay, go ahead. You have to Terry unmute. Habitan. Go ahead, Terry. Go ahead. Attorney Habitat from uh, Department of Finance. Uh, hi. Hi. Yeah. I'm not an attorney, uh, Madam. Asek um, Maria Teresa is Habitan. Yes. Thank you. Good morning. It's done corrected, ma. Director Valerie Joy Brion from Department of Finance also. Director Brion. Is the director of finance here? Uh, Joy Brion. Joy, are you there? Hello, Director Brion. Honor. Good morning, Your Honor. Yes, just push the button and say, I'm Director Brion. I'm here representing the finance department. It's okay? Because uh, we don't see each other except here, and I would like the, the record to state that you are here uh in what capacity and uh, which office you represent good morning your honor i'm director valerie Brion from the department of finance thank you valerie lovely name thank you terry can you come close to the microphone please and uh, we can hear you go ahead secretary ramon lopez Director Erlinda F. Arciliana. Director Arciliana. Good, good morning. Uh, this uh, Director Arciliana of the DTIBOI. I am representing DTIBOI. Thank you. Thank uh, you. We have representative from NEDA, Assistant Secretary Greg L. Pineda. Good morning, Mr. Chair. Greg Beneda representing Neda. Thank and you. Miss and Miss Christine Villarino. Christine Villarino of uh, Chief EDS Regional Development Staff. Also from. Uh, oh, is she there? Yes, sir. Good morning, Paul. Uh, is it, is that I'm just, here, sir. Excuse me. Uh, can you just identify yourself and the office that you represent so that the record will state so? Go ahead. My name is Christine Villarino, and I represent what? Go ahead. Uh, uh, Miss, Mr. Chair, uh, she, she's also from NEDA, but I think she's having uh, problems with this connect with her connection. Sorry. All right. Fair enough. Good. Representative of my name, my name is Christine and I. Christine Villarino again. Yeah. She's encountering uh, some technical problem, Mr. Chair, but uh, she is with me. Uh, she is with Neda. Chris okay. Villarino. Thank you, Greg. Thank, Thank you. you. Next. 
Representing Director General Charito Plaza, Attorney Christine Heide Rosales. Morning, Your Honor. Attorney Christine Heide A. Rosales respectfully appearing on behalf of the Philippine Economic Zone Authority. Can you raise your hand? I, I, I'm glad to see you. Morning, Your Honor. Hi, hi. Attorney How are you? Rosales. Oh, you should Rosales. be able to raise your hand, Christina. Thank you. Go ahead. Your Honor. Thank you. Representative of Attorney Samuel Nassin from Governance Commission, Director Michael Papalenas, and Director Jacqueline Ponseca. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, Michael. Honorable Chair. I'm also here, Chairman of the GCG, Samuel Nassin Jr. Yes, I'm also here. Governor uh, of the GOCCs, right? Yes, 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 Your Honor. Thank you, Sammy. Thank you. Did you lose hair, Sammy? Did you cut your hair short? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. That's why I didn't recognize you. The next one, please. Representative of Secretary Mark Villar from DPWH, Attorney Denise Maria Ayag. ARG from DPWH Region 3. Where are you? Sir. Sir. Director Tolentino, is that you? Director Maria Ayag. Ah, Taka mo na, Sherry, pakinggan mo muna. Hindi ko nakikita kung sino yung tao eh. DPWA second please. Region 3. What is your name? Dennis Maria Ayag, sir. Dennis, I thought, ah, sige. Okay. ARD. ARD. Are you the RD? ARD. I'm the ARD boss. Okay. Thank you. Assistant Regional Director. Yes, sir. Okay. Presented and you're here uh, by the authority of your, well, not by your, of your department secretary. I'm, I'm assuming that. Go ahead. Thank Cherry, you. go ahead. I will stop calling you Cherry if you cannot speak straight. I will call you Eleuteria. I'll speak straight so I can hear you. Eleuteria, go ahead. Representative of the DENR, Mr. Raul Mamat, DENR officer. Uh, are you there, Mr. Mamak? Mr. Mamak, mark them absent and write the letter to this uh, director that he did not show up. Secretary. Go ahead. Commissioner Dulay, is he here? And he's represented by. Robert John Neil Tibayan, are you there? Good morning. Good morning, Your Honor. Uh, yes, I'm here. Uh, I'm Attorney Robert Tibayan. I represent uh, from the Law and Legislative Division of the Bureau of Internal Revenue. Very well. <clears throat> now go to Secretary Alfonso Cusi, represented by the, the uh, Director Renante Sevilla. Are you there? Uh, good morning, Your Honor. The Director Renante Sevilla, sir, representing uh, Al Alfonso Cusi, sir, of uh, the Luzon Field Office. All right. Not PDP Laban, huh? Uh, not, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Sige, uh, okay. Non-partisan, sir. I know. Uh, director, they, that's what they all say. Director Sevilla, huh? All right, okay. Next. Anybody Where else? Is no, not, is is Cecil. Cecil. Where are you, Cecil? With the Z. Yes, good morning, Your Honor. Joining Director Sevilla from Department of Energy. Okay, thank you. You know why I'm being squeamish about names and faces and raising your hand and your voices? Because we have to record this. It's difficult enough that we have to do this virtually. We have to do it right. Go ahead. Representative of Attorney Agnes Givanadera from ERC, Engineer Radelio Maatuba. Good morning, Mr. Chair. Yes. Uh, you may Mr. Chair as Chairman. Mr. Chairman yes, is the name. Yeah. Yes, sir. From the Indian Rani Matubang, sir, from the Energy Regulatory Commission. All right. Okay. Uh, another, sir, Attorney Maria Adela Ching, Attorney 4 from the Office of Executive Director, ERC. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. I'm Attorney Maria Adela Ching, appearing on behalf of the Energy Regulatory Commission, and this is me. Thank you, Adela. Shall I call you Adela or what? Um, Madel, right. for short. Thank you, sir. Madel. Yes, sir. Okay. 
Attending from the BCDA, sir, Miss Eileen R. Sosa. Sosa. Eileen, I haven't seen you in a long time. Where's Eileen? Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Senator. I'm Eileen Sosa from BCDA. Mr. Senator, I beg your indulgence. In a few minutes, I have a presentation to the Belt and Road Summit, but Ms. Joji Canyones will be representing BCPA, Mr. Senator. But I will be back after my presentation, Paul. Okay, Jocelyn, where are you? Jocelyn Canyones, Jocelyn. Vice President. Jocelyn. 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 Good morning, Mr. Chair. This is Joji Canyones from BCDA. Do you have a video? Can you show oh. your picture? Yes, sir. Oh, why don't you press it? Hey, Mr. Chairman, good morning. This is Georgie Canyones. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And also, Mr. Rafael Jose M. Habana from BCDA. Habana. Mr. Habana, are you there? Yes, Mr. Chairman, good morning. Uh, Rafael Habana from BCDA also. I request you to speak closely to the microphone, especially later on. If you have any comments, I would like to understand them. Yes, Thank you. From SPMA, Your Honor, Attorney Wilma Isma. So, Ms. Isma, are you there? Uh, from SBMA? Yes, Mr. Chairman, good morning. Uh, I'm Isma for the Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority. Thank you. It is SBMA, right, Jerry? Yes, sir. With, with her are Attorney Ramon Agregado, Renato Lee. Much Agregado, I saw you a while ago. Mr. Chairman. Morning, sir. Where are you? Okay, all right. Yes, Morning. All right. Josephine Alipon. No, you said Renato Lee. Is he there? Good morning, Mr. Chair. I'm Renato Lee from SBMA. Where are you, Mr. Hi, Mr. Chair. Whatever you are, don't call me chair. I'm a person. I'm not a chair. All right. Sorry, uh, Senator Gordon. Mr. Chairman, it would be sufficient. Sorry, Mr. Chair. Oh. Man, sorry, Mr. Chairman. Okay. My apologies. Say again, Mr. Lee. Just <laughs> correcting. Of the, I, I, I have a heart, you know. Go ahead. <laughs> Deputy Administrator for Finance, SPMA. Fina? Antonieta Sanki. Yes, Good okay. Morning. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. This is the Antonieta Sanki from SPMA. Thank you. Yes. Attorney, Attorney Michael M. Quintos, Deputy Administrator for Legal Affairs, SPMA. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Attorney Michael M. Quintos from SBMA. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Josephine I.B. Alipon, officer in charge, Office of the Deputy Administrator for Business Group. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. I.B. Federal Pop from SBMA uh, Investment Department. That is Alipon, right? Or Alipon? Alipon Pop. Yes. Uh, Thank you. Sherry, say their name correctly. Yes, Your Honor. Good. Rio Pani Rio Totar. OIC Legal Department, SPMA. Stephanie? Good yeah, funny, sir. Good morning, Ch Chairman. Good Senator. Morning. Thank you. Thank you. Data Marsal, Manager, Financial Planning and Budget Department, SBMA. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Edita Lim Marsal from SBMA. All right. Edita, thank you. And Jenny Rose Vicente, Manager, Accounting Department, SPMA. Um, good morning, Senator. Good morning, Jenny. Go ahead. From uh, Work Development Corporation, President and CEO, Manuel R. Garland. Yes, I know, Mr. Garland. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Hi, Manny, how are you? Uh, President Manuel Garland from Clark Development Corporation. Yes. And with me also is architect uh, Tars Chutuiko, our corporate planning division. Tars Chutuiko, are you there? Uh, good morning, Your Honor. Uh, I'm Tars Chutuiko, uh, also from Clark Development Corporation. All right. All right. Do you mind uh, when you speak, I'm going to ask you 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 to ask 
from authority of the court area of Bataan, attorney Maria Rosana Lucio, legal department manager. And ang umaga po, Maria Rosana Lucio po from authority of the Freeport area of Bataan. Is Engineer Pineda there? Yes, Mr. Chair. Present, Mr. Chair. Mr. Yes. Chairman, uh, good yes, morning. Fine. Fine. Oh, good. Okay. Engineer Emmanuel Pineda. Right. Administrator, authority of Freeport area of Bataan. From, uh, from Aurora Pacific Economic Zone, Mr. Israel F. Mandukdok, represented by Mr. Kirby Tolentino. Mr. Tolentino. Uh, good, good morning, Mr. Chairman. This is Kirby Tolentino from representing APECO. Okay. And and also Maria Cristina Soa Verdes, Planning Officer. Good morning, Mr. Chair. This is Dean Soa Verdes of Aurora Pacific Economic Zone. Good morning. From Tiesa, Your Honor, represented by Attorney Nino Roberto Aquino, Officer in Charge, Legal Department, Tiesa. Where is the Legal Department of Tiesa? Hello? And wait, wait, they, they're not sounded off. Sinara. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Good, Good morning, Mr. Chairman. From Tiesa, Tony Aquino from Tiesa, Mr. Chair. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Sound off right away because we have a long list. Please pay attention. Okay. Attorney Maria Salve Aure Carillo, Attorney for Legal Services Division of Tiesa. Attorney Maria Salve Auro Aure Carillo, Legal Services. Where are you? Parker absent. Max, make a report to their chair, to their, uh, their department. To their, uh, the, uh, the secretary is a uh, directed uh, representative. So make a strong letter to the secretary concerned or the head of agency concerned. Thank you. Go ahead. Peridel M. Domingo, President and CEO, Clark Electric Distribution Corporation. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. I am Redel Domingo, President of Clark Electric, the distribution utility serving Clark Report Zone. Thank you. Go ahead. That's all your honor. Others come in late, maybe, so I have not updated this case. Please. Maybe they can uh, identify themselves, sir. Those who were not. Cool. Yes, go ahead. Who's yes, that? Pedro Marife Castillo, DNR Sambales, sir. Yes, how are you, Marife? Fine, sir. Thank you. Who else? Uh, good morning, Senator. Good morning, everyone. My name is uh, Wei Di Wang. I'm from uh, SPDMC in Supi, Supi Bay. Uh, Thank you. If Wei Li Wang I'm, uh, from Taiwan. of the SPDMC, which is a Taiwanese uh, entity, can come here. I don't know why your agency heads are not here. We'll take a note <laughs> about that in the next budget hearings. <laughs> Go ahead. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. I'm uh, Ami Fabros from the Subi Clark Alliance for Development. Okay. Oh, you are the executive Good director, morning. right? You're the executive director, Amy? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Uh huh. And who is the chairperson, if any? I don't know. Uh, chairperson is uh, Secretary Vince Dizon. Mm hmm. Okay. So, yeah. Good morning, Mr. Good morning, Mr. Chair. Attorney Elaine Collado representing Sambales Governor Mahenes Abdani. I'm sorry, earlier I was having technical difficulties. That's okay. Attorney Collado. Collado, sorry. You call me Mr. Chair, so I'll call you Collado. Sorry, Mr. Chairman, sorry. You're a lawyer. You should be able be attentive. Okay, go ahead. Uh, next, another regional mystery. Mr. Chair. Good morning, Mr. Good morning, Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Uh, next. Yeah. 
Region 3. Good morning, Mr. Good morning. Chairman. Good morning. Uh, Maris Aquino po from NETA Region 3. Maris Aquino? Yes, yes sir. Is it possible to put your name uh, in the box? Who's uh, in charge of that? Nakalagay lang, NEDA Regional Office. Uh, like the chairman, I'd like to know the person who's talking. So will the secretary see to it that the names as well as the representation, the, the office they represent are there? Sherry, are you there? Yes, sir. Can you see to it, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. All right. And uh, uh, the one with the curly hair? On BC Day. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this is Attorney Ian Duldulao, uh, representing BC Day. Duldulao, that's an artist. Huh? That's an artist's name. Yes, sir. Imani Duldulao from Antipolo. Your father? You're not related, sir. Oh, yeah. He could make an excellent portrait of you. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm trying to ease up. Go ahead. Yes, uh, Miss EMB. Si Ang Hirap, eh, oh. Good morning, What's Mr. Name? Chair. I am Attorney Gloria Dayan uh -huh. Gullo and representing Environmental Management Bureau. I don't have your name. Uh, Sorry, uh, Mr. Chair, my name is Attorney Gloria Diana Tulnoan, representing EMB. I, I, I can't understand you. There's nobody here by the name of Mr. Chair. I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my name, again, my name is Attorney Gloria Diana Tulnoan, representing EMB. Okay, thank you, Gloria. Go ahead. Anybody else? Good morning, Mr. Chair. From NEDA Regional Office. Oh. Uh, Good morning, What's your uh, name, Mr. Chair. Please? Uh, don't... My, name, my name is Junji Ponyo from Nyada Region 3 as well. Good morning. I only understood good morning. What is your name? I have to write down your name here. Um, my name is uh, Junji Ponyo, Mr. Chairman. So we'll, we'll change our profile name. Po. Ponyo. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Okay. Are there any others that we have not called or that have not uh, introduced yourselves? You know, it's always good to know the names of the people that are here. Uh, anybody else? Did you miss anybody? From Bulacan, attorney Aaron or Aaron? Is it Aaron or Aaron? Aaron, uh, your honorable chair. Good morning, um, Moses. honorable chairman Gordon. Uh, I'm attorney Aaron Bailey Santos representing the provincial government of Bulacan. Thank you. Thank you for coming. You're very important. Go ahead. Anybody else? Okay. Thank you, Thierry. Please take note of those who are present. And as I instructed, those who are supposed to represent the ones that we invited were not here, send a letter to their head of head, head of agency, a strong one, if you will, and I will sign it. Yes, sir. May I say something, sir? Of okay. course. Additional. Uh, Senator Pia Cayetano, chair, chairperson of Ways and Means, came earlier, and Senator Wingat Chalian, our vice chair, also here, and Senator okay. Marcos here. Thank you, Jerry. Please take note of those who are present, and as I instructed, those who are supposed to represent the ones that we invited or not here, send a letter to their head of, head, head of agency, a strong one, if you will, and I will sign it. Thanks, sir. Okay. Can I say something, sir? Additional. Additional. Uh, Senator Pia Cayetano, chairperson of Ways and Means, came earlier, and Senator Wingat Chalian, our vice chair, also. Can you please take note of those who are present? And as I instructed, those who are supposed to represent. Para bayan, sino ba ang kinakausap dyan? Perry. Nakamute ka, Kerry. Good grief. We're going to have a long Mr. meeting, but we're glad we're going. That's all, sir. <laughs> please listen. Can you please call Webex to fix up uh, this? Uh, like oh, like go. Baka, Baka, like, huh? 
Would, uh, can everybody, uh, when you're not speaking, please unmute yourself or rather mute yourself. Mute your computer so that uh, we can listen to each other. It's a rather a big crowd right now. So thank you very much. And uh, Sherry, I already recognize Senator Caetano and Senator Gatsalian and Senator Marcos earlier. You're in love again. You're not listening. Stop falling in love because you have memory problems when you fall in love. All right. Uh, distinguished senators, my fellow citizens, uh, and my fellow government workers, uh, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Uh, this meeting is uh, more or less uh, an attempt to try and reinsert uh, uh, for the, the for the para umundad ang ating ekonomiya, sabi na sa akin, magtagalog raw ko, uh, para maintindihan ng lahat na nakikinig, na uh, magkaroon tayo ng uh, impetus or rather uh, a big push because I don't hear anybody right now talking about how we're going to restore the economy. Uh, uh, and I will be very, very brief here and try to be very brief. Let me just say na uh, baksak lahat ang ating uh, mundo, ang Pilipinas, lalo na, ang utang natin ay maabot na ng 11 point plus trillion. I, I will be corrected by, I'm sure, by uh, Senator Pia. And then we have 1.1 trillion utang natin dito sa pandemic, sa mga binibili natin. And of course, we have 9 tri uh, trillion uh, utang natin sa military, uh, sa pension, at maraming pa tayong uh, kakulangan. At nakikita ninyo kung bakit tayo gumagalo dito. May I ask uh, that uh, you come up with uh, uh, the situation in terms of uh, foreign direct investments in our country. Uh, let me just point out that it has been going down since 2017, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and you have uh, in 2016, $8.2 billion, 2017, $10.2 billion, 2018, $9.9 .9 billion, and 2019, $8.6 billion. I'm sure we have a slide somewhere there. 2020, $6.5 billion, and from January to February so far, it's $1.5 billion. And certainly compared against Vietnam, uh, Vietnam has $15.5 billion. The Philippines has $10.2 billion in 2018. And 2019, Vietnam had 16.1. We had 8.6. And in 2020, we had 6.5. And uh, Vietnam got 6.7 billion. Um, so uh, in terms of Indonesia, 18.9 billion in 2018 against our 10.2 billion. Again, in 2019, 24.9 billion against our 8.6 billion, 19.1 billion in 2020 against our 6.5 billion. And I think you can see it now on the slide uh, as presented. If anybody has any heartburn there, please uh, 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 react to it, if you will. Gupo tayo dahil sa pandemia at lalo tayo magugupo kung di tayo kikilos. Kailangan mabilis tayong kumilos, hindi pa natatapos. Dapat naghahanda na tayo ng mga i-offer natin sa ating mga kababayan kung saan sila mag invest at gano'n rin ang ating mga kaibigan sa ibang bansa. Malaki ang aking naging kaka-experience dito sa pag-ayos ng mga ganitong sitwasyon. Uh, nung kami, Mayor ng Olongo po, giniba kami ng dalawang event, yung Kabanatuan Earthquake at Baguio Earthquake, yung Central Luzon Earthquake, yung Great Luzon Earthquake kung tawagin nila. At nagre-recover tayo. Tinamaan pagkatapos tayo ng Pinatubo sa Region 3. At uh, giba-giba ang Clark, giba-giba ang Subic, Olongo po, Angeles, at uh, marami sa ating bayan, including Bataan and everything. And so, uh, kailangan mag tayo. Walang pity party, walang iyakan. Uh, naglinis tayo, naghukay tayo, nag, uh, uh, pinatag natin ang bayan para mapakita na buhay pa tayo. At uh, buhay pa rin ang mga mamamayan sapagkat hope springs eternal. And then when hindi uh, pa tayo tapos doon, pinaalis ang base militar. As you know, they've been there for what, 94 years? Eh, talagang uh, nawalan ng mga kababayan natin ng maraming trabaho. Walang uh, nabasag yung uh, uh, palayok na kinakainan nila. At uh, uh, you know, uh, ang, ang Clark na daus-dos ng husto dahil magkaroon pa ng mga uh, nakawan, pillaging ng mga Amerikano at Pilipino, yung mga paalis at saka papasok. 
And therefore, talagang uh, ang ginawa ko talaga, ayoko mangyari yan sa ating bayan dahil reputasyon ng ating bayan na nakataya. Nagpunta pa ako sa Clark. Gumawa ako ng batas. Please unmute, please. Uh, or please mute yourselves. Gumawa kami ng batas. Uh, doon sa aking maliit na kwarto sa Olongo po. Ginawa ko yung mga abogado kong uh, kasama mga bata. At uh, ginawa namin yung... Uh, Amendment sa BCDA kung saan isinama namin ang Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority, the first free port in the country. Sinama natin ang clerk na walang, wala silang mayor na nag-represent uh, noong panahon na yun at uh, hindi namin makausap. Pero sinami namin, ginawa natin special economic zones. Pati rin yung Poro Point at saka yung John Hay. Later on, uh, mandar na ang Subic, nakuha natin sa paglarali natin at paglalabi. Sabi namin, gusto namin kami nga hawak, binigay sa akin. At ang binigay sa akin, talagang araw-gabi, uh, walang tulog, uh, pinangalagaan yung base militar na iniwan, walang nanakaw at nagkaroon ng maraming puri sa buong mundo at nagkaroon ng maraming kumpiyansa sa buong mundo sapagkat nakita nila na hindi mawawala yung iniwan ng Amerikano. At uh, ang nagmalasakit pa ay mga taong bayan na nag-volunteer. Napaka-heartrending experience yon na mismo taong bayan, makikita nyo ang nagdilinay sa mga bahay na hindi umaalis at... Uh, Uh, hindi sa kanila. At yan, kumakain dyan, uh, kanya-kanyang baon, kamatis, tuyo, kanin. Ang ataalala ko yan. Pinaglaban namin yan at uh, uh, luma-approve yan. At agad-agad uh, uh, lumakad kami at ako yung nagpapasalamat. I, I thank uh, uh, Willie uh, Wang uh, of the SBDMC because ang una kong nakausap ay yung uh, kanilang uh, uh, si uh, uh, kada ng Secretary of Trade at that time na nakasama ko sa Georgetown Leadership Seminar. Sila sun, uh, dumating sila, ayaw pa sila pababain. Mayroon pang Amerikano noon na hawak pa nila yung airport para yung airport ng Kabul. Ngayon nawaka muna ng Amerikano para makaalis yung mga tauhan nila at ngayon nalisan na. Ganun rin sa Subic. Kalahati ng base, hawak na namin. Kalahati ng base, hawak pa ng Amerikano. Pero napababa namin yung aeroplano ng Taiwanese after circling for about half an hour. Tumawag pa ako ng araw sa Washington at saka sa Hawaii. At din sabi na pababa at kagad kumuha sila ng 300 hektarya. 300 hectares were taken by SBDMC. We've created a corporation with SBMA. At uh, nakautang kami uh, sila doon sa yung SBDMC ang umutang. At ngayon nagkaroon kagad ng industrial park doon. Yung dating skit range ay nagkaroon ng pagkakataon makapaghanap buhay. Pumasok ang Acer. Pumasok ang Teco, pumasok ang maraming kumpanya, kaya tuwan-tuwa kami. Kailangan talaga maagap tayo. Ang Clark medyo naiwanan, so ginawa ni President Ramos na maging pre-port na rin. Sabi ko, hindi pwede maging pre-port, pero sabi niya, gusto ko akong presidente. So ginawa yan, at sabi ko, baka matalo tayo sa Supreme Court. At yun na nga nangyari nung umalis siya, uh, binalik ulit sa Special Economic Zone. But by that time, sabi ni, tama yung sinabi ni President Ramos na sasabay yan sa Subic Pagka ginawa mong pre-port, uh, meron rin tayong vision na gano'n na magkasama ang Subic at Clark. At uh, ito na nga yung vision na tatalakayin natin na itong Subic, Clark, Mariveles, pinakaluma, pinakabago, pinaka-original uh, na export processing zone ng Mariveles na ginawa ni President Marcos, ang tatay ni Amy. At yon ay ginawa ang North Expressway. At ang unang-unang dulo noon ay yung Mariveles, uh, tinatawag natin EPSA. Export Processing Zone Authority. Just a little history para malaman nyo kung saan tayo papunta rito. And ginawa natin ng bill kagad, nag-aalisan na yung sa Clark dahil nagbago na naman ang patakaran. Dati na sila pre-port. Ginawa natin, nag-file ako ng bill na maging pre-port ulit ang Clark at naging pre-port ang Clark at pati na rin yung John Hay at saka Poro Point. One thing I want to tell you is that just because you have a structure of a pre-port or a free uh, export processing zone, It will not happen unless all of us work hard. And Clark today has a new airport, uh, maraming investments, mas malaki ang lugar nila, mas madaling makakuha. Pero pag hindi natin aalagaan yan, hindi natin aalagaan ang subic, ay eh talaga maubusan tayo. Pero ang, 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 ang sasabihin ko lang sa inyo, government exists to create equal opportunities for our people. At kung kaya yung gagawa ng mga oportunidad, ang tao, hindi natin bibigyan ng isda araw-araw para kumain, sila mismo ang gagawa ng paraan para makapaghanap buhay sila. 
uh, we want to make sure that uh, we're not uh, um, drug, drug, na, na addict tayo sa kabibigay ng mga uh, namumuno sa ating bayan. Inaabutan. At kailangan talaga maiangat natin ang ating sarili by our own bootstraps. So, yan ang istorya ng mga freeport zones. At uh, ngayon eh, uh, walang problema ang gobyerno sa Subic at Clark. Nagko-contribution kami ng malaki. Uh, at pagkagaling yung mga naandiyan ngayon, uh, uh, na umahawak ng Clark at saka Subic. At uh, dapat ngayon, panahon para mag-go to the next level. I will remind you that ang Pilipinas, uh, nagkakarera nung araw si Lee Kuan Yu at saka si President Marcos, tinitingnan tayo nila Lee Kuan Yu. At uh, noong 1959, nasa Balay siya sila. Noong 1963, umalis sila. At talaga nakipagsapa na rin sila sa kanilang galing. At ngayon ang Singapore, napakayaman. Ang kanilang per capita income is about $63,000 per capita income. Ang Pilipinas nagdalaro sa $3,000 plus. So malayong malayo. Mas malaki ang populasyon, mas malaki sila. Pag tinagyan nyo ang kanilang Air Force, talon talo tayo. Kanilang Navy, talon talo tayo. Because sila, ang kanilang paaralan, number one sila, number two sila. Tayo nangungulilat doon sa PISA, sila nandun sa nangunguna kasama ng Hong Kong, kasama ng Korea, kasama ng Japan, na dating binomba ng Amerikano, tinalo natin din sa Pilipinas, pero tayo mukhang kumakain ng alikabok palagi. Sabi nga, ano nga ba, ano ba, ano nga ba, uh, uh, kung yung sila, uh, yung mga banda ng araw, ang kanta nila, another one bites the dust. Well, we've been biting the dust for so many times. And I think it's about time that uh, we go up. And uh, because of the pandemic, kailangan maganda tayo. So, hindi na natin ito. Na-approve na ito for the uh, information of all. This was approved by the previous uh, Congress. At uh, ito ay na-approved uh, by both houses. Pero uh, ang tingin ko, ayaw ng ibang mga tao yan. Dahil sabi, mababawasan raw ang kita ng gobyerno. Sa sagot ko lang dyan, kung ikaw ay mabakanting lupa at wala kang ginagawa dyan, kahit na pre-port or export processing zone, ano kikitain sa taxes ng gobyerno? Ano kikitain ng tao? Walang trabaho. Walang income tax. Eh, anong pambabayad nila kung wala silang trabaho? Katulad ngayon, mahirap magbayad ng income tax dahil maraming walang trabaho. So ginawa namin yan, unfortunately, Binito na kagalang-galang President Rodrigo Duterte. Hindi ko maintindihan kung bakit. But you know, I'm used to that. Pinaalis sa Subic, I'm used to that. Tinanggal ako sa Subic, sa Olongo po. Tinanggal ako, I'm used to that. We get back and we try our best and we work hard. Hindi ako nagtatanim. Harapin mo yung naka, uh, kalimutan mo yung nakaraan, matuto ka doon at harapin mo yung papasok para ikaw ay handang lumaban sa mga hamon ng panahon. So today, panlaban natin ito yung ginagawa natin, Bill. Hindi pa kompleto ito dahil uh, nag-adjust pa tayo. Hihilingin ko sa inyo ang inyong payo, ang inyong comments uh, para malaman natin kung maayos natin itong ating uh, bayan at ang vision nito ay gagawa tayo kung masusunod ito ng mga zona sa bawat region. Inaasa natin sa gobyerno sentral. Naghihintay ang Ilocos, naghihintay ang Pangasinan. Na dumating doon ang mga ginagawa ng DTI, ang mga NEDA, para dumating ang hanap buhay. E karamihan ng mga local government na nagsisipag, nakakakuha sila ng hanap buhay, nakakakuha sila ng investments. Yan ang ginawa namin sa Olongo po at sa Subic. Yan rin ang ginawa ng Clark. At talaga kung gagawin natin yan, nasa closer is better, mas malapit, mas magaling ang mga mamayang Pilipino. So pagkat nakikita nilang dumarating ang Uh, sa intulo ng pawis ay nasa, na, 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 na papalitan ng mga pumapasok na investment. I don't have to tell you how many times did I shed a tear. Tumakuha namin ang FedEx, tumakuha namin ang Coastal, tumakuha namin ang Taiwan Zone, tumakuha namin ang Japanese Zone. Because each time we saw that, ang nananalay tayo sa aking dugo at aking kaisipan ay nagkakaroon ng kabuhayan yung mga tao na nawala na ng pag-asa pero sa dahil sa tulo ng pawis, naniwala sila sa sarili nila na makakakuha sila ng investment sa pagkat yun, sinasabi nila na dahil sa ginawa niyong pag-iingat dito sa Subic, nabighani kami kaya nagdatingan ang mga investments dahil sa pagrespeto sa mga volunteers sa Subic. At dyan niya makikita yung airport gubana, nakuha namin ang FedEx, at muntik na namin makuha si Lee Cushing. In fact, nakuha na namin, pero again, 
Mas magaling ang national government. Hindi kami pinayagan magkaroon ng air hub at saka seaport hub sapagkat tinanggihan ng national government yung port na gagawin ng pinakamalaking port operator ng Hong Kong. Yung tinatawag natin Hutchison. HIT. Malaking pagkakamali natin yan. Pero ganun talaga ang buhay. No sir. Hindi ako naniniwala sa weather. Weather, we make our own future. And if we allow other people, gagawa sila ng future na pansarili, sanay tayo sa mga Pilipino. Ako muna, bago kayo. Dapat lahat tayo first for the common good. Pero kung tayo sabay-sabay ang buhat, I think, uh, uh, nilitig niya ako yung mga dating mga volunteers sa Subic, nandiyan na sila. Ayan, nagpipirmahan kami dito ng FedEx. Ang pumipirma para sa akin ay si Attorney Aristolenas, the late one, yung bata na yan. Ayan na nagtrabaho. At yan ang nagpirma. Yung mga batang kasama ko, sila ang nagtrabaho sa FedEx na kuha namin. Ito si Gilmook is about 6'6". Si Perdi was about 4'11". At uh, siya ang CEO ko noon. CEO ko si Gilmook sa ang pumipirma. And I really give credit or credit is due to our people. At marami dyan sa nasa likod ko. Wala ata dyan si Ami Aisma. Uh, yung mga nasa likod ko, mga galing sa Harvard, galing sa Iona, galing sa Stanford, at galing sa iba't ibang university, galing sa Texas, nakikita ko, at galing sa UP. At uh, ako ay hamak na tiga atreyo lang at UP. Lahat sila state side. Sabi nga ni Terry, state side. Ayan yung mga bata. At yung Marunong tayong tumanaw ng utang na loob. Lahat ng mga volunteer, may pangalan sila. Naginawa namin ng wall. Mabuti lang nakagawa ako ng paraan magawa ng wall para nung pinalayas ako sa subig, kinamit ko yung board na pinalayas. At least makikita ninyo ang overview nitong wall na ito. Nagpupunta yung mga tao na volunteer dyan at ini-extensin nila kung sila ay balikbayan at naglalagay sila ng bulaklak pag may namamatay sa pagat. For one brief shining moment, the volunteers of subig made it a camelot na basta tuno ng pawis sila sa kusang loob, balasakit at kapwa tao nagawa nila yung Subic Bay Freeport at tinanghal ng Washington Post at saka ng New York Times at saka ng Financial Times at saka ng European News at maraming pang ilwa na maraming that the one of the most successful base if not the most successful base conversion in the world ayan sila mga bata rin may mga Amerikano pa, may mga Singaporean nag-volunteer dahil uh, gusto nang malasap yung talagang Uh, sarap nung magsasakribisyo ka at yan ang naganap natin. Kaya sanay ako na nauusami lahat yung mga pangalap. Sanay rin akong bumangon. Nireject itong bill na ito, susubukan ko. Kung i-reject, subukan ulit natin. Kapagkat wala akong nakikita ng alternatibo kundi uh, kumalap ng taxes pero hindi nakikinabang ang tao. Nakikita natin ngayon sa mga investigasyon natin. Nag-tax nga tayo pero napupunta sa mga dayon malalaki yung uh, binabayad natin para makakuha tayo ng mga PPE, na the most expensive PPE, the most expensive face mask dito. Tamang-tama yung face mask. Parang nang, 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 nang uh, hold up ng mga banko na nakamaskara. Yan ang ginagawa natin ngayon sa ating saliling bahay. Nakakalukot. Having said all that, uh, nagpapandemya, wala akong narinig na gagawin, pero kung ito magagawa, lahat ng governor, lahat ng mayor ng Region 3 na sumuporta dito last time. They can now go abroad, go to our countrymen, and say, meron tayong gagawin dito, itong preport, itong uh, zona na ito, magkakaroon hanggat maaari, maglalagay kami ng kanya-kanya hektaryo kung gusto nila, at kung sino mabilis, sila ang makakakuha ng hanap buhay. Ito ay kakabit natin sa Subic at sa Casa Clark, o sa BCD, kung anong regime ang gusto nila, o sa Uh, Aurora o kaya doon sa mga zone na nagawa katulad ng napaka-successful na Freeport area of Bataan. So, mas madali kung ang kausap ay simple lang uh, papasok yun doon at uh, ma, uh, para maalaman nyo kung gusto nila pumasok sa uh, hanay ng Freeport ng Bataan pwede silang mag-apply directamente uh, dito sa authority o mas maganda kung gusto nila sa Bataan directly Freeport area of Bataan, they can apply there. Yan ang proposal ko para mabilis. Ako, speed is the name of the game. Kung mabagal tayo, iiwanan tayo. Hindi tayo hihintayin. So, intindihin nyo yung sinasabi ko rito. Pwede natin baguhin yan. It's not cast in stone. But that's what we want to do. Walang masyadong incentives ito. Bawal na ang incentives. Magkakasakit ang gobyerno pagka nagbigay ng incentives. 
Ewan ko kung paano tayo kukuha ng incentives. Tandaan po natin na ang buong mundo ngayon ay nahirapan. Pati Amerikano, nahirapan. Maghanap sila ng kabuhayan. At uh, ang mga lalamang dyan ay mga malalaking ekonomiya na may malalaking populasyon, na may teknolohiyang magaling, makakabangon ka agad dyan. Pero tayo, ewan ko kung makakabangon tayo mabilis unless ang liderato didara, ay gumalaw at pagalawin at kumuha ng uh, harap buhay sa iba't ibang bayan ng mundo. So ito ay parang formula natin para mabilis tayong makakayod dito sa labanan na ito para makakuha tayo sa kompetensya natin lahat ang uh, buong mundo. At syempre, ahabol lahat yung mga nahirapan. At nakikita ko, kaya sinabi ko, pakita nyo nga uli yung foreign direct investment sa Indonesia. Malaki ang population ng Indonesia. Uh, about 240 to 300 million na sila. Tayo nasa 100 million. There's no reason why we cannot get the same. Tingnan nyo, Indonesia, 24.9 billion in 2019. 2020, 19.1 billion. Kumpara nyo tayo, 6.5 billion with our 100 million Talo tayo. Talo rin ang Vietnam. Pero ang Vietnam, ng 16.1 billion, nadaustos lang sila dahil dito sa pandemic. Bumaksak sila. Pero tingnan nyo, double figure sila for the last two years before. Pero ang Indonesia, tuloy-tuloy, uh, double figures, 2018, 19, 20, kahit may pandemic na ng 2020, malaki pa rin ang foreign direct investments dahil malaki ang populasyon at nag-aayos sila ay talagang papasok sa kanila. Kaya kung tayo tutulog-tulog na naman, yung mga hapon na aali sapagkat nagbabago ang labanan sa mundo, nagbabalansi ngayon ang Amerikano ayaw na uh, matalo ng China, ang hapon ayaw matalo ng China, ang Korea ayaw matalo ng China, maraming aali sa China. Hindi naman ako natutuwa doon, pero ganun talaga, ahanap sila na mas maganda at maayos na mapag i para ganun ay uh, makapasok sila. Kaya kung tutulog-tulog tayo, wala. Nahuli na naman tayo. Katulad ng araw, number one tayo sa literacy rate. Kulelat na tayo. Nasa mga number seven na siguro tayo ngayon. Nas nasingitan na tayo. Araw, we had Asia's first airline. Ngayon, ang Singapore, ang dami-dami lang airline. Ang malalakas ang kanilang kabuhayan. Dapat, ang turismo natin lumakas. Napalakas natin yan doon sa Wow Philippines. Pinalakas pa ng mga sumunod sa akin. At uh, lumakas, yan kasama rito sa ginagawa natin. Sa bagat ito, ang kasama rito ay agriculture, tourism, manufacturing. Pwede tayo magtabi ng lupa at mag-imbeto tayo ng kasosyo na gagalaw. Kaya tinawag kong SBDMC, sapagat kausap ko yung kanilang pinakaboss sa Taiwan. Kung tayo magbubukas, gusto lang pumasok sa Central Luzon. At nakausap ko ng araw ang presidente na na pumanaw na, na si Lita, Lita, uh, Kashi, uh, Lita Tengwi. Personal ko nakausap yan, sama ko pa, the late Lozada, June Lozada, sabi niya, we have a go south policy, we want to go to South Asia, to Southeast Asia. At ang pinakalapit sa amin at tumulong pa sa amin ng araw ay Pilipinas. Kaya na ako namin kagad yung Taiwan Zone. Kaya dapat, lapitan natin ang Hapon, lapitan natin ang Koreano, lapitan natin ang Amerikano, lapitan natin ang China kung papasok sila. Pero dapat talaga negosyo ang kunin natin para makabuhayan ang ating bayan. Gawin natin, nakikita natin ang hirap ng tao, uh, tumitira sa Bulacan, tumitira sa Laguna para mamasok sa Maynila and vice versa. Hindi na natutulog, hindi na nakikita ang pamilya, nakasakay palagi, papasok, pagod na, sa jeep pa lang o sa bus, pabalik, pagod na pagod at walang, walang uh, choice. Poverty is an absence of choice. Kung yan ang gagawin, eh ganyan na naman mayayari sa atin. Ang gusto natin ay... Gusto rin ninyo, and I hope gusto ninyo yung sinasabi ko, magkaroon tayo ng mga fabrika, ng mga negosyo sa Central Luzon para mga tao doon nalang lulugar at magpagawa tayo ng mga bahay para yung mga magtatrabaho dyan hindi magungupahan, doon na sila magungupahan sa hulugan nila at magbibisikleta na lang sila pagpasok sa trabaho. Malapit na yung fabrika sa kanila at uh, malapit na rin yung eskwela sa kanila at hindi na mahihirapan ang taong bayan. Naintindihan man yung sinasabi ko, gusto nyo Englishin ko. Yan. Yan. Nakita ko, nag-thumbs up. Yan. Good. Uh, nasabi ko lang po, na dapat maintindihan nyo where we're going. It is better to know where we're going and not know how. And to know how we're going and not know where. Misan, nahihilo tayo pare-pareho. Tayo mismo ang naglalaban-laban. Lahat tayo magaling. Lahat tayo nagmamagaling. Yun ang problema natin. Lahat nagmamagaling. Kaya hindi tayo magkabuo ng vision. It takes vision to do this. 
It's a challenge to our country na magawa natin ito. Because sa pangarap ko, pag-arap nyo rin siguro yan, pag ito naging successful, wag nang maghintay. Kung ako, hindi na ako maghihintay kung ako itika Panay Island, may airport na sila doon, may seaport, katulad ng Central Luzon. Tatlo ang airport natin, magiging apat pa. Subic, Clark, and Manila, within one and a half hour away. Within one hour from Bulacan, mayroon ka ng airport. Mayroon ka pang airport ni Ramon Ang na gagawin. Mayroon ka pang tatlong seaport. Ayan, Subic, Clark, Mariveles. Tingnan nyo yung mapa. Ayan, uh, o. Oh. Biro nyo, pinagawa ni President Marcos yung North Expressway. Dapat kumita na yan. Yung South Expressway, kumita ang Calabar Zone. Naging Detroit ang Santa Rosa. Detroit of the Philippines. Dumami ang mga pabrika sa Batangas. At makita nyo ang karangyaan. Marami ng university, doon na nag-aaral yung mga bata. Mga Lyceum, Letran, na ando sa mga lugar na yan. Pero sa Central Luzon, hindi natin na mga nagagamit. Ang ginamit ang North Expressway. Ngayon nakikita ko, dumadami ang bodega. Dahil talaga napupuno. Pero nagsisiksikan pa rin tayo sa Manila. Ang daming lupa sa Tarlac, sa Nueva Ecija, sa Sambales, sa Bataan, sa Bulacan, sa Aurora. E yan dapat magamit ng bayan sa pamagitan ng paghakot ng tinatawag ng mga investor para magkatrabaho ang tao at hindi maging palaasa sa gobyerno. Pag may airport ka, may seaport ka, madaling mag-import, mag-export. Raw material will be done fast. Yung finished product mo will go ahead in the market of the world. And we concentrate on logistics. Pwede tayong gumawa ng parang FedEx. Kung ayaw na ng FedEx sa atin, lubipat sila sa China. Nung umalis ako, lubipat sila in 2009. Napunta sila sa Guangzhou dahil mabagal tayo. Hindi natin nakuha yung seaport. At siyempre, binabalita, binabaliti na ang, ang, uh, ang braso nila ng China. Kinaya na sila dahil malaki kami. Kung dyan kayo sa, sa Pilipinas, hindi namin kayo papapasukin dito. Lumipat kayo dito. Ayaw sabihin ng FedEx yan. Sinasabi kong tahasan. At kung titignan nyo yung timeline ng FedEx, nakita nagkakagulo ang mga leader ng SBMA at ng iba't iba ng Clark kung sino pupunta. Kung ako siya na inaandol, sasabihin ko, ayokong gabitin niyo sana, payag ako na ang Subic Airport at Clark Airport, pareho yan dapat, at ang tinatawag nating seaport, dapat mabilis, pareho ang seaport ng Mariveles at saka Subic para makita niyo ang sitwasyon natin sa seaport. Papakita ko lang kayo, huwag kayong mahuhulog sa sigla niyo. Kung ako ay chairman pa ng Subic, ang, uh, ang, uh, ang mga uh, ang pinakamalaking uh, port operations sa Asia, at sa bundo ay Hong Kong at saka Singapore. Neck and neck sila sa labanan sa paramihan ng container traffic. They had 13 million, 12 million. And at that time, the Philippines had 2 million. Remember, that's 30 years ago. At yan ngayon makikita nyo ang uh, seaport ng Shanghai ngayon. <coughs> Hindi ba ninyo mapakita? Madali lang. Kung nakita nyo na, nakikita nyo ba yung chart? Please thumbs up kung nakikita nyo. Hindi ko alam kung ano nakikita nyo. Eh. Wala? Okay. Hindi daw nakikita. Hindi ba nyo pwede yung i-share? Si-share screen natin. Uh, sa ilang sandali. Ayan. Thumbs up kung nakikita nyo. Okay, nakikita na yung mga thumbs. Uh, okay. Tignan nyo ang Shanghai. Mayaman ang China, maraming pumapasok na negosyo. In 2020, they had 43.5 million container moves. 43.5 million container. Can you imagine that? Kahon-kahon na malalaki? Singapore, kasi laki lang ng Clark Field. 36.87 million. Wow! 36.87 million. Almost 37 million. 2020 pa yan, ha? Bumaba siguro yan nung pandemic dahil bumagal ang hanap buhay, pero babalik yan. Ningbo, hindi ko narinig nung araw yan. Sushan, China, 28.7. Shenzhen, napuntahan ko yan. Napuntahan namin ng mga kasama ko, sila Bongbo Marcos at saka yung ibang governor. Delegation kami ng 10th anniversary ng China-Philippine relationship. Ang Shenzhen was a fishing village. Tatatlong building pa lang ang tumatayo nung araw. Ang nag-isip niyan ay si Deng Xiaoping. At tumagawa ni Deng Xiaoping yan, yumaman pa lampas sa Hong Kong. At ang kanilang, tingin nyo, ang Hong Kong pang Siam, 
ang Shenzhen 26.55 million. Maniwala tayo sa ating pangarap at buong, bu- buong husay natin gawin ang ating mga pangarap. Guangzhou, China, 23.51 million. Qingdao, China, 22.1 million. Sipin niyo, panay China, 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 Singapore, ang number two. Bakit? Kailangan kumain ang mga kababayan natin, na kab- ano, ka, uh, kapitbayan natin in chic. Kaya payaman sila ng payaman, kaya lumakas sila, ginamit nila yung populasyon, ginamit nila yung kanilang edukasyon, ginamit nila yung kanilang foresight at discipline, kaya naging world power na talaga ang China. I'll, take, I'll give you 30 seconds to think about it. And I'll give you 30 seconds to think about it. One second dapat sa Pilipinas kung paano natin magpapalakas. Hindi ko sinasabi, itong ginagawa natin will make it happen, but I'd like to see it start. Qingdao, China, 22 million. Busan, South Korea. <coughs> Patala tayo na sundalo dyan. Sa Korea. In fact, binigyan ako ng monumento ni Lapu-Lapu. Sa paggalang sa mga sundalo natin na namatay at nagsimbi dyan sa Korea. Parang ang New York, binigyan sila ng Statue of Liberty. Laging malaya na nawala lahat yung nagkaharing uri sa Francia. Kaya binigyan yung Statue of Liberty. Pero yumaman ang Korea, kaya ng isang organization to magbigay ng Monumento nila po na po na sa manulupig hindi ka pa sisil, nagawa nila yan. At yan ay nasa Luneta ngayon, nasa Rizal Park. Inangalan pa ako na hindi raw national hero sila po na po. Ay sabi ko, yan ang unang natututuhan. But anyway, that's another topic. But Busa, we went to war in Korea, yumaman na yan ngayon. Changjin, China naman. Hong Kong, dati 12 million ang container na eh, in a uh, 30 years, naging 17.9 million sila. Pero Singapore, 12 million, ngayon 36.87 million container moves. Port Klang, Malaysia, 13.24 million. <coughs> Galing. Population yan eh, wala pa itong uh, 60 to 80 million. Kung hindi ako nagkakamali, I think I'd guess more in uh, 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 to 60 to 70 million. Uh... Tinitingnan ko yung mga EA ko eh. Nakatingin lang sa akin. Baka ba't pag may sinabi, dapat tinitingnan na kagad. Uh, Malaysia, uh, ang population ay uh, sasabihin ko sa inyo mamaya. Ho Chi Minh, Vietnam, 7.20 million. Meron silang Cameron Bay. Meron silang Danang Air Force Base. Lahat siya ginagamit nila ngayon. At ang population ng Malaysia ay sorry, ano yan? Um, 31.9 million. Wow, ang baba pala. Mali ako. Kala ko 40. Kinawa ko pa ng 60. 31.9 million ang population ng Pilipinas ay 110 million. Ang Indonesia, siguro nasa hula na naman ako from memory, 250 million Indonesians. Yan. Kung naniwala tayo kay Juan Sistaw Vincent nung araw, pinagsama ang Mapilindo, isang bansa, eh siguro tayo natin labanan makipagsabayan ang China. I'm sorry, correction, 270.6 million ang Indonesia. So, nakakaakit ang populasyon, nakakaakit kung matatalino, nakakaakit kung maayos ang gobyerno, nakakaakit kung merong infrastructure. Bakit tayo hindi uunlad sa Central Luzon? Bakit tayo uunlad sa Negros? May mga airport, seaport dyan. Para kita tayo nagagawa niya mga yan? Para lang makabiyahe tayo o para magkaroon lamang ng tourism o para makaakit ang hanap buhay? Bali, wala lahat ang karsada kung walang sukling mga kabuhayan yan. Pinagpapa, pinapamayagpag lang ng mga politiko natin na magagaling naman, karamihan, ang sabihin na ako ng pagkuha niyan, pero hindi yon Ginawa yan para sa tao. Para maproteksyonan ang kabuhayan ng tao, para may hirap ay may choice. May choice sila hindi lang sa Maynila, may choice sila hindi lang sa Kadambayan, pero gumawa pa ng panibagong choice ng mga pabrikang lalapit dyan. So ladies and gentlemen, today... We make a second stop at an attempt for prosperity. I thank everybody before. Lahat ng Central Luzon. Sumabay kay Dick Gordon. At sumabay ang mga local government leaders. At pinakita nila ang kanilang liderato na sumuporta na magkaroon tayo ng talaga tinatawag na Central Luzon Regional Hub. Tinawag kong rich because I do not want our people to be poor. I would like to see our people to be rich to enjoy the prosperity that our neighbors have been enjoying, na napag-iwanan tayo. Sabi ko, I'm not pro-poor, I'm just pro-rich na ang mahirap, 
maging mayaman. Kapag ating mayaman, hindi na natin dapat alagaan yan. Pag nagkaroon na ng Pfizer, libre na na nirecognize ang Pfizer, hindi na tayo magbibigay ng bakuna sa mayaman, kaya nga lang bumili sa doktor niyan. Pero kung ikaw mahirap, ang problema natin mga Pilipino, lalo na yung mga mahirap, wala tayong pambili. Kaya konting pera, nagkakagulo na tayo. Pero kung sila ay may trabaho, sila ay matuto na pag naghanap buhay ka, yung work, save, invest, prosper. Magtrabaho ka, mag-ipong ka, huwag sa alkansya. Ilagay mo sa bangko, pagkatawas mo, pero ka na malaki, invest mo sa hanap buhay. Then, every Filipino will add to the prosperity of this mighty country that has not seen its future yet. Kaya kailangan natin magawa at ako nakikiusap sa mga tiga national government dyan, makinig kayo, huwag kayong makinig dun sa this is not a turf war. If Clark can work with Subic, and Subic can work with Clark. If all the regional governors of Gov can work with each other, so too can the entire country. If we can bring the responsibility and the duty to bring investments to our leaders at ang mga tao na niwala dyan pag nagsama ang mga leader at ang tao lalabas at galing ng Pilipino, yayaman pa ang Pilipino. And magkakaroon tayo ng respeto sa buong mundo. And so today, I will close. Because that is really, uh, you know, I'm a cheerleader. Uh, in my younger days, I still am. You have to cheer our people because tayo nakayuko palagi. Gusto ko, walang hiya ang tao in the sense na hindi siya nahihiya, hindi siya natatakot. So ang tao natin ay matapang, agresibo sa kabuhayan. Hindi tayo mananalo kung tayo palagi nakayuko, nakabakikiraan, lalagay mo yung kamay mo sa harap po, parang uh, gagawa ka, tataha ka ng, sa ere at yuyuka, yuyuko ka. All you have to do is say, excuse me, may I pass? Don't have to apologize for your what your station in life. And I would like one day, uh, pagka yan ay nagarap, makikita natin ang mga Pilipino ay taas noo. Sabi nga nung kanta, kahit kanino. Sapagat they earned it like the volunteers and Subi earned it na nakita nila na yung kanilang pinagsikapan, nakikita kong umiiyak ng araw na makukuha namin bawat kumpanya, hindi dahil magkakatrabaho sila, nalampasan nila yun. Nagkaroon sila ng self-worth, nagkaroon sila ng pride that they were part of a great experiment that worked. Akala nyo, ako nung araw, kabadong-kabado ko, ayoko matalo doon sabagat ako susisi, no sir, I'm ready to stake my life, I'm ready to stake My leadership is something that I believe in. And this is again something that I believe in and something that many of the governors, all the governors believe in. And I'm sure, pag binigay ito sa mga governors, why will we rely? Hindi ko tinitira ang DTI. Alam ito ni Mon Lopez. Na ang DTI, ang dami niyong regional uh, uh, international trade attaches. Pag siningil ko yan ito yung budget, ilan na ipasok ng attache mo. Walang masabi halos. Pero ngayon nata, meron na dahil alam na ni Secretary Lopez at tatalagin ko palagi yan. Pag sinigil ko ang tourism, ang dami-dami ang tourism at asya eh. Kailangan na dagdag niyo ang turista sa ating bansa. Ito, hindi natin kailangan magbayad pa noon because now is a borderless world. Our people can communicate by computer anywhere in the world. They can communicate to Russia, to China. They can teach English to Japanese and Koreans and make money. They can learn yung mga sangkap ng ibang bansa and put up your own fusion restaurants here in our country. The future is now. And all government has to do is create the atmosphere of equal opportunity. The atmosphere where people can go in, trade, mind for mind, work for work, effort for effort, and enjoy the blessings of their hard work and their vision. So ladies and gentlemen, ito ang bill na ito. Sinabi ko na ako ano ang mangyayari. Uh, kailangan natin malaman ano ang composition ng board. Uh, kailangan ba lahat ng governor meron niya baka maging unwieldy. The fundamental principles always na akin pinasusundan palagi whether I'm in the Red Cross or Orongopo or wherever is that you must be able to predict, plan, and prepare, and practice. Then I expanded that to focus, fast, friendly, flexible, forward-looking. Kaya na nakafocus ka sa ginagawa mo. Kailangan mabilis ka para hindi maghihintay yung maging naglilid ko sa sabahin natin. Kailangan, ikaw ay friendly, walang kurakot, matutuwa na pumasok sa iyo yan. Kailangan flexible ka. Hindi ka magdududa sa kung meron mga nakaharang, kailangan ikutan mo. And finally, you are always forward looking. 
on those principles, I put all my effort in life. And that is why some people seem to think that we're very aggressive. So be it. And that is what we need to do. The noisy wheel gets the oil. Of course, God gave us a mind and he gave us our mouths and our tongues so that we can communicate. So that we can sell what we need to sell, an idea whose time has come. At kung gagawin natin to, we will be able to create our own future and the future of our country together. So there you are. We have the board. Suggestion ko dyan, eh, the president can select 14, 7 from the from the communities around the area. Don't have to be the governor. Nakikita ko kung magkamisan, huwag naman magagalit. May representation nga to sa SBMA, pero ilalagay yung anak, ilalagay yung asawa. We need a professional board. We need an engineer. We need a planner, an urban planner. We need a promoter in that board. And you can get that from the provinces. It doesn't have to be a politician. I can see General Garland nodding his head because he's a professional soldier. When you go to war, you have to have the professional officership that you need to make sure that the people will follow them directly. And we can have a professional board of seven and then para magkaroon ng coordination, we need representation sa SBMA, Aurora Economic Zone, even from uh, government corporations uh, group para mabilis. The only object is makaplano at pag nagawa yung plano, Mabilis. Walang aharang, walang titisod. Wala, wala, hindi kasama si Eddie. Nasasabihin pagka nandiyan na, papano naman si Eddie? Sino si Eddie? Eddie ako. Hindi pwede yan. Kailangan talaga pagka nandiyan na yan, eh, kailangan kung anong batas yung nasusundin para mabilis tayo. I'm sharing this now para hindi tayo magkamali dito. Para hindi atin-atin ito, kanya-kanya ito, dapat tayo lahat ang makikinabang sa pamagitan ng mahusay na liderato Ito tinatawag natin rich bills. There will be rich bills. And I intend to file. Pag-file ko, at hasabahan ko yung tiga uh, si Sunny Angara dito sa Quezon. At saka dito sa Region 4. Yan ang region nila. Tama natin uh, si Wilka Chedia dito sa Region 3. At saka si uh, Kiko Pangilinan. Kasama namin lahat siya. Sumama nung araw lahat siya mga yan. At uh, si Aimee can lead the charge sa uh, region 1 and even Region 2. My God, alam ba ninyo, may airport tayo. Ang taga nung umalis ang FedEx, hindi ginamit siyang airport na Subic. Ngayon lang ginagamit dahil may pandemia. That's a shame. Nakakahiya. And I'll tell you, gumawa tayo ng airport doon sa Norte, doon sa uh, Lalo. Ang ganda-ganda ng airport. E, ibigay nyo na lang sa Taliban. Walang makukuha ngayon yung Taliban na papasok sa kanila. Sapagat ganyan na nangyari. Diyan sa lalo, kagayan. Kawawa naman. Walang nagpo-promote. Like I said earlier on, you can create a structure, but kung walang puso ay magpapatakbo, walang vision yung magpapatakbo, talo yan. Kagawa ka ng magandang karsada, pero walang investments. Sayang yung vision ng mga nakaraan. Nagawa yung Mariveles. Tumaas, tapos bumaba. Nagkanya-kanya. Inistrike ka ng strike na wala lahat ang investors dahil pa na-strike ang nangyari. Nung inayos namin ng mga Governor Garcia, na mga Congressman Garcia at nagawa tayo ng mahusay na leader, si Engineer Pineda, <coughs> siya magsasabi sa inyo pagkatapos magawa yung Freeport area of Bataan, 40,000 jobs were created right away. I'd like to see Emmanuel Pineda, I can see you. Can you push thumbs up or thumbs down? Kung totoo, mali yung sinasabi ko. There you go. So ang sinasabi ko sa inyo, if it is to be, it must be up to us. And so today, uh, kailangan alamin natin uh, tayo ba makikipagsabalaran o gawin na muna natin saka natin sabihin na kailangan natin may tax credit sa mga gagawa ng bahay para mabilis makagawa ng bahay makautang sila <coughs> at yung ini-invest sila pwede lang bawin sa tax credit mababang tax yan ay pwede natin gawin pero nasa sa inyo yan tumahan nyo ako para magawa natin ng mga wala ng incentives eh. kasi sa tingin ko babalik tayo sa incentives sa hirap na mundo ngayon Yan ang pananaw ko. Di maaari, walang incentives. Di maaari sabi mo, magkaganda kami ng lalaki. Hindi pwede yan. Kailangan talaga magbebenta nito ang taong bayan. We commit ourselves to work hard. Make the Philippines proud. Make the best products. Get our best educations. Yung English University. Yung mga 
Uh, yung mga Central Luzon sa Nueva Ecija, yung mga universities dyan, ang dami-dami. Yung ating mga state colleges and universities, dapat siyang gagaling para may makukuhang mga magkahanap buhay na bata. Yan ang gusto ng mga negosyo. And it must be focused on just that. The great jobs as quickly as we can so that we can get up on our feet right away. Finally, I want to say it's not too late to seek a newer world, as Tennyson said in Ulysses. Though we may not have that heart which in old days moved earth and heaven, that which we are, one we are. Kailangan one equal temper of heroic heart, made weak by time and fate, but still strong in will pagkatapos ng pandemic, to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. Thank you very much, and I hope I didn't, uh, you know, wear out your welcome and your patience by delivering a rather extended presentation of what this bill is all about. Now it's your turn to speak, and I will entertain the senators first, of course, if they have any comments right away. Para magawa natin ang mga pangarap natin, I would need everybody's help. And I think uh, Senator Win Gachayan has made a reservation. He will make an opening statement. Uh, go Win. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Chairman, uh, for that uh, very inspiring speech. Uh, pagkatapos ko po mapakinggan yung speech nyo, eh, lalong tumibay po, tumibay po yung paniniwala ko dito sa batas na ito at sa inyo. Uh, we voted in favor of this bill in the uh, 17th Congress. Unfortunately, it didn't make it as a law. But after hearing that fiery speech, eh, sigurado pong uh, makukumbinsin na naman po ako. Um, Mr. Chair, I commend you for uh, filing this bill. This is really uh, a timely bill because of the pandemic and we're all scrambling for investments as you have shown in the, uh, in the slide. Uh, pero meron po akong isang tampo lang ho sa inyo. Eh. Uh, sa dami ng picture niyong pinakita, hindi niyo pinakita yung picture ko nung pumunta ako sa inyo nung 12 years old ako during the Pinatubo days. Uh, <laughs> Nagatid po ako ng tulong ho sa inyo. I don't know if you still remember that during the Pinatubo days. Of course I do. You were a kid and you had the uh, plastic uh, cans and all that. Uh, right. Gamit na mga mamamay, yung mga jerry cans. Of course I do. <laughs> right. I have not forgotten. Do you, don't you know the song of Barbara Streisand? Memories, yeah. started pictures of the smiles you left behind. Di ba? Right. Tama po. <laughs> Thank you, Chairman. Tama sa mga girlfriend mo. Go ahead, please. <laughs> Thank you, Chairman. Chair, Chairman, um, I just have uh, one concern, actually, and this is Section 23. And this is a sector that I have been covering for the last um, uh, almost six years, actually. Uh, and let me just read Section 23. Uh, this is uh, utilities and other services. Rich may undertake and regulate the establishment, operation, and maintenance of utilities, such as electric power supply and such other services within Central Luzon, and fix just and reasonable fees, rates, and charges, and other forms of pricing in connection thereof, in accordance with existing laws, regulations, uh, rules, and regulations. Mr. Chair, uh, Mr. Chairman, I have a, some concern about this provision because of our um, environment right now. Uh, number one, uh, from my understanding of this provision, uh, Rich will be empowered uh, to build uh, generation supply, transmission lines, and distribution lines. And uh, with our current environment right now, the Philippines is operating under a deregulated environment wherein the private sector is encouraged to invest in electric power. Uh, this, may, this will run counter to the uh, philosophy of deregulation and uh, private entities coming into the sector. That's number one. Number two, uh, Mr. Chairman, is the power to operate and to regulate. Uh, this will create an environment wherein uh, rich as an entity can operate, uh, construct and operate, and then regulate itself. Uh, mawawala po yung check and balance uh, uh, in, in that sense. And number three, in Central Luzon, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chairman, uh, I've, I looked at the number of utilities operating there. There are about 22 um, utilities operating in Central Luzon, of which uh, seven are private and 17 are uh, cooperatives. And allowing uh, Rich to go into the electric power industry uh, will enable it to compete you know, because nakasulat rin doon, it can sell its uh, output outside of, uh, uh, it, 
can sell output. No? So that uh, goes against the philosophy of competitive neutrality, wherein government is competing uh, with um, uh, the private sector. And lastly, uh, one of the reasons why I have this concern, um, uh, Mr. Chair, is uh, right now we're operating under a single regulatory body in the electric power uh, industry, meaning there's only ERC that regulates everything. Uh, enabling rich to regulate, uh, we will have a environment wherein there are two regulators, and that will lead to conflicts uh, in terms of what regulatory regime should um, the private sector follow. Uh, right now, um, ERC promulgates all the regulatory um, uh, documents for the private sector to follow. And having another one might create uh, or will create, in my opinion, because I've seen this in other jurisdictions, uh, confusion in the uh, uh, electric power sector. So those are just the reasons, uh, Mr. Chairman, and I will uh, submit my uh, recommendation uh, to the committee. Uh, some suggestions, some recommendations uh, uh, that the committee can consider in order to uh, further strengthen and clarify this particular provision. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, those are very uh, precious and uh, prescient remarks. Uh, you will recall that we did this a few years ago. And uh, if there is that provision, we carried it over. Uh, certainly, I'm willing to accept amendments, uh, make it an IRA Libre so that people can come in, private entities. There's nothing better that I'd like to do than have uh, private entities. But I'm also leaving something for rich, for example. What have we done, for example, with uh, the power plant in Bataan that never even produced a single watt? Uh, it has nuclear power. You were there. I know you've been there, right? Uh, you're very assiduous in your work. Na pinupunta mo yung mga yan. At ako hinayang na hinayang. Para tayong boulevard of broken dreams. Hindi ba dapat, uh, nagkaroon na dapat ang kuryente dyan na nagagawa natin. And uh, I, you, you are more uh, skilled and uh, more uh, in the know about cooperatives and powers. I, I, without casting any expression, uh, I just want to say something. Uh, two days ago, mabuti na andyan ka, ilalahad ko na publicly para malaman natin kung totoo ito sinasabi ng mga nagko-complain. You're familiar with Beneco, Benguet uh, Electrical Cooperative. Do you know that there is a problem there right now, sir? Actually, Mr. Chairman, coincidentally, I just got an email from them just this morning. Around yes, this yes. Uh, That's correct. And I'm sure now that you're aware of the problem, ang pinapasok raw ng mga... Uh, Malalaking uh, backer yung patakbo ng cooperative. That's why kinakabahan ako dyan sa mga cooperatives. At uh, saka gusto ko, siyempre, I'm a big supporter of cooperative. As you know, kami ni Mig Zubiri. And I want to make sure that the cooperatives uh, make the money and uh, be able to enrich their members, di ba? Uh, I just want to, I'm going to research that and find out whether all these cooperatives are making money. But like I said, I like your idea. It is a, it's not cast in stone, Senator Wynn, and... Uh, we're seatmates, you can always say, palitan natin ito para mas maganda, mas mabilis, fine. Uh, I do have a little problem. Uh, I know you have a problem with that. Uh, sometimes, uh, ikaw na ang uh, government NDT, ikaw pa magre-regulate. But sometimes, government does go ahead in what we call uh, greenfield. Yung wala pa pasok, government comes in. At uh, yun lang kung kailangan. Pero kung ayaw, ayaw ninyo yun, uh, ang kailangan dito, katulad doon sinasabi ko sa board kanina ng tumatango si General Garland, nakita ko na tumatango siya, kailangan mo ng promoter. And I was also the promoter in Subic. Naibigay ko yung power plant dyan sa Enron. At ngayon, pinapatakbo na ng, uh, I think, Aboitis or somebody else or si Palco na Pilipino Corporation. Uh, maybe uh, Attorney Esma of Subic can tell us kung ano nangyari dyan. But I am with you. Hindi ako tatanggi dyan sa sinasabi mo. Uh, this is not cash and so the important thing is not to lose sight of the fact that we want speed para magawa yan. At kung mabagal tayo, kung kulang ang kuryente, tatanungin pa tayo dyan. As you know, napakamahal ng kuryente ng Pilipinas, di ba? Mas maraming kuryente siguro, baka maging mas mura kung may compet competition. Uh, yan ang nakikita ko. I don't believe in that exactly na mangyayari yan kung marami, pero dapat talaga isipin natin kung paano natin mapapababa sapagkat kung mataas yan, we are dragging anchors. Meron, 
angkor na nasa bayag natin, hindi tayo makatakbo kasi bilis ng iba na ang kanilang kuryente ay mura, meron silang natural energy, at uh, yan ay ginagawa natin dito, pero yan ang ating mga dapat uh, uh, magawa. I will, I will rely on you, on your suggestions, on how we can uh, help reach achieve that kind of uh, 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 acceptance in power and utilities generation. Ayun nga nangyari sa atin, even in Subic, Uh, subic water, wala namang problema, pawak ng private uh, entity. Pero siyempre, alam nyo, um, magkakaroon na ng problema pag pinasukan eh. We have to understand that kailangan para gumalumakas ang kuryente, dapat meron silang pang-expand. Iisip ko ngayon right now, and I'll finish here, yung nangyari dito sa uh, Ida or Ida sa New Orleans, uh, ang sabi sa kanila, magkakaroon pa sila ng kuryente, be ready. You may not have power for the next ma- uh, for one month, and that is why makikita mo ang dami nila ng truck, ang dami nila ginawa gagawin yan at uh, uh, kung magyari sa Central Luzon, dapat makabangon tayo kagad. Pero tayo mga backup plans para hindi mamamatayan and maybe who knows? We can better our infrastructure. It should be underground lines now. Wala nang poste at para sa ganon eh, pag ginawa yan, eh, yung require ng rich sa kanilang regulatory powers. Tama ka? Wala kami pinapatakbong kuryente, papasok kayo dito, pag maglalagay kayo, all lines should be underground, so mas maluwag, mas aire libre, para sa ganon, makikita natin yung dapat gawin. Thank you, Senator Wynn, at uh, I will await uh, your blowout for the committee sa lechon. Wynn, get your young lechon. Thank you. Uh, Senator Caetano or Senator Marcos? I'm here, here I'm here, Mr. Chair. Hi. Yes, I can Mr. see your lovely Mom. facade. Yes. Morning. No, I was intensely listening to your opening statement, and I'll just continue to listen. I, I'd like to hear the uh, resource person. So I don't have any um, initial statements, just observing. And then obviously, as you know, being the chairman of the Committee on Ways and Means, I'd like to be able to reconcile it as much as we can. In lang naman for now, Mr. Chairman. I've always respected your ability to speak well and to listen well. And that's something thank that you, is thank very you. important to our leader. And uh, Uh, we locked horns here on CREATE. You know, I voted against it. Yeah, but it's all right. Uh, it's a good bill, except for, you know, nga, we are going to face problems and we really, ha- I think we're going to have to go back to that regime. Sometimes, ang ayoko, pag nagbago ang regime, bago na naman ang batas. Kung talagang ang sasabihin natin, wala nang incentive, so be it. Pero dapat, we better make our country look beautiful. As I've always said, oh, there are no... Mr. Chairman? Yes. Uh, so I just wanted to add that I just wanted to add that I'm a big fan of Subic and Clark, as you very well know that, no? Um, yeah, I, I, I go, I, I actually personally, I love, I love going there. The infrastructure and the environment is very conducive to um, a vibrant business community. But not only that, no, it, it really promotes um, a, a residential community so that the expats and even the local talents, I, I'm so happy that you mentioned the SUCs. I'm always championing them that we get from our own, right, the mga homegrown um, talents natin. And they're all around uh, the region. You, you said it exactly right, Mr. President, Mr. Chairman. So um, I'm happy you mentioned that. Um, I don't know if there's some way we can we can um, strengthen that even in the bill, no, to, to ensure that these, uh, the SUC heads are um, communicating and uh, working with our... Um, our Uh, we lost you, uh, Senator Pia. We lost you. Well, tama yung sinasabi ni Senator Caetano. We're waiting for her to come back. Uh, that this should be encouraged. I think, you know, I found out by my experience that in Red Cross or in Subic or in Alongapo or even in tourism, volunteers work really, really harder because they have a, it's a matter of pride to them. They earn self-worth that way. But also, of course, our rank and file, they work hard. They make our country look beautiful. Uh, there, a wise man once said, there are no people who are ugly. There are just people who do not know how to look beautiful. I used to say the real, uh, the real score there was there are no ugly women. There are only women who do not know how to look beautiful. But we are now gender free. So uh, it is up to us to make our country look beautiful. Uh, while we're waiting for Senator P, I will entertain questions from Senator Marcos. Are you there, Amy? Senator Amy? Okay. Uh, Are there any other senators? If there are none, I, the chair would be uh, beholden to you if you would all give your comments uh, 
and uh, how we can improve the, ba the bill, how we can make it look beautiful uh, and, uh, you know, be able to be implemented beautifully. I uh, already heard one from Senator Gachalian, yes. which is really great. Uh, there you go, Senator Caetano, go ahead and continue. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry, was... I'm back. But anyway, I was saying that um, it's very important that to the local executive, the uh, the uh, expats, and and even the the managerial staff and the and the employees to be able to have a life in in this area. So, I'm very familiar because even though I go to Subic, the community all the way, I don't know how many kilometers, up, what, 50, 100. Subic to Manila is important. And uh, for the record, of course, 130 kilometers. Not even that far. Yeah. So I'm yeah. sure even Bulacan, Tarlac, um, you know, in, in the surrounding provinces, they can find jobs in this area. Of course. But on that note, Mr. President, I'd like, I'd like to end by just letting everyone know that um, just like Sherwin visited you at 12 years old, I visited Subic, I visited Clark, and of course, EPSA with my father, with my father, EPSA administrator. So I'm also, I was already in college then, you know, years old. But um, I, I got a glimpse of the importance of these. Um, foreign investment. I was actually an economics major in UP at the time. It was really an eye-opener for me. So I'll continue to learn and listen, Mr. Chairman, as you proceed with your hearing. Thank you. Well, as you know, your father and I were together in the law firm and we're uh, good friends and uh, I miss him. And I just want you to know that uh, uh, you have exceeded uh, your father's dreams for you, you and your brothers. Congratulations. And uh, give my regards to your lovely mom, of course. Thank you. You know, Pia is an adopted daughter. Is it daughter, Pia? Uh, Senator Paetano, adopted daughter, ba? Sorry, what? Adopted I heard daughter. The, uh, adoption bill uh, yesterday uh, you were talking about. Uh, yes. 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 Yeah. So I have an adopted son. That's right. That's right. Uh, that's and we nice. passed. And we passed our um, Senator Risas uh, chaired the committee where we passed our a comprehensive adoption bill to make it easier for people to adopt. That's right, and we support that because my mother adopted many, many kids as well. Uh, not adopted legally, but raised them. And that's what I call poverty yes. is an absence foster. of choice. And a foster and child. Somebody get an opportunity like this, let us give them the opportunity without having to be adopted in the future. Give them a good education and opportunities where they can choose life, they will be able to get it done. Any questions? Thank you very much, Senator Caetano. Thank you very much. And any, anybody else? Yes, Chairman. Yes. Uh, can I have some comments? Can you after really, your can you speech? Your yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, first of all, I would like to introduce myself. My my name is uh, Wei Wang. I'm uh, mm -hmm. the president of SPDMC from uh, the Subic uh, Free oh, Zone. Willie really, Willie really Wang. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Good morning, I, Senator. I can't see you. I can't uh, see you. First well. of all. Yeah, uh, by looking at the uh, the draft of the bills, it uh, seems to us that uh, in terms of uh, tax incentive, it will provide better and a more favorable uh, investment environment to the existing and uh, new investor from home or from uh, overseas. Therefore, we certainly uh, welcome the bill and I hope it can uh, become a law as soon as possible. And secondly, uh, in the meantime, we really hope that uh, this, this bill can uh, supersede or replace the uh, create law, which has been uh, creating a lot of uh, confusion and uh, concern so far. Particularly, it seems uh, not to be uh, favorable to the new investors, as well as uh, uh, the current uh, locators. FDIs become uh, hesitating to come until this uh, concern can be actually clarified and uh, removed. And last point is, uh, <clears throat> uh, this is also very important too. We hope uh, in this uh, new bill, they should not be uh, uh, selective of uh, preferable investment. And I hope we hope that the scope can be uh, largely widened 
as long as uh, the uh, investors of uh, establish, establish, establishment being registered in the uh, free port zone or special economic zone and uh, be able to create the job opportunities, particularly during this uh, trying time to the uh, local community or region, they should be eligible to enjoy all the incentives and uh, tax holiday as uh, provided uh, from this bill. So I hope uh, this, uh, uh, you know, because of those uh, uh, investment or business has been uh, specified in a uh, section 14 of this bill, of this draft. We hope uh, somehow this uh, can be changed a little bit. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, Mr. Wang is the representative here, the head of uh, PICO, uh, the Taiwan Zone, and I'm always grateful to the Taiwanese because they gave us hope, as we did before, when the, their big neighbor was uh, threatening to invade uh, Taiwan before in Kemoi Matsu. Uh, we were kids in school, we were praying the rosary for the Taiwanese because uh, they were being bombarded at the time. And, uh, and then uh, when we uh, lost the bases, uh, the Taiwanese came to the rescue right away uh, and uh, uh, believed in what we were doing. They didn't do it as a favor. Uh, everything is business, as you know, but uh, they knew that uh, we were committed to making Subic succeed. And so today, uh, I think the main thrust and uh, uh, is that uh, we have to be clear. Many problems occur because of poor communication. So Create has got to do a better job of communication because it is appearing that uh, it can be very selective on who gets the grant of uh, incentives. I, if I got that correct, kung na na intindihan ba ng mga possible investors natin na ibibigay na incentives a uniform na hindi na sila kailangan magtanong, malinaw. So kailangan talaga uh, hindi malabo, malinaw yung sasabihin na kung ito ang incentives dito, uh, ito ang bibigay natin. So, well, we will have to take it up with the uh, uh the department of finance uh uh who are here who are here but i just don't want you to take it as if it is a criticism it is a perception uh it is something that we want to fix so that uh, we can get more investments any any comments from the department of finance or the matter of investments or firb FIRD? um mr chair yes please uh, yes, um, I am Maria Teresa Habita, Assistant Secretary oh, of the sure. Department of Finance. Yes. <laughs> uh, good morning, uh, Chair. Um, we, uh, you know, what the what the principles of the Department of Finance has always been before with regard to um, this bill, and our opposition before has always been an objection in principle, and it's because we wanted to really be um, following the principles that we want as encompassed in the CREATE Bill, which um, Congress has recently passed. We took a look at the, I, I think we received the, the latest version of the rich bill about it's, it's, an hour before yeah. the hearing. And we note that uh, the incentives provisions that are now there in the bill uh, almost closely parallel those in CREATE. Um, and uh, for that, we uh, we welcome uh, such uh, a development, uh, Your Honor. Uh, we, we, however, would like to be clearer in the way that the incentives provision are worded, and um, perhaps, and if there's going to be a TWG for this, we would like to be able to propose uh, some wording that could be uh, uh, similar to incentives provisions that we have in uh, similar bills, uh, Your Honor. And that would really make it so sure. very clear that registered business enterprises within um, a, a zone like um, uh, the rich may avail of tax incentives subject to the provisions of Title 13 or tax incentives of the National Internal Revenue Code. So the, re the reference is very clear, uh, Your Honor. Is there because we have removed practically all the incentives, right? Uh, uh, and you would like to sit down and uh, clarify further what uh, you suggest. I'm, uh, by the way, I'd like to know that last night when I saw this, I said, I want this bill passed. 
uh, nail it down, we'll fix it later. Uh, pag na-approve na yan, then we'll see how it works and then we can always uh, go back to Congress and make it happen. Uh, kung kayo, may kulang, punuan, kung sobra, bawasan. Uh, to me, that's uh, we have to move fast. Uh, I'm sure you'll agree with me na kailangan natin magkaroon ng uh, mga trabaho yung mga tao natin para sa ganun magawa. And I will take you up on that. I hope that you will yes. give us your uh, comments. There will be a TWG. I don't know yes. if I will have another extra hearing, but uh, uh, there will be a definitely a TWG. I think TWG na ito, napasa na ito ng both Congress. Yan ang mga incentives naman ang uh, inaalala ng uh, Department of Finance. And uh, uh, like I said, uh, uh, saka na tayo mag-penance. <laughs> Kung may mali kami, may mali kayo, uh, I will give you absolutions and you can give me absolutions as well. Kaya nga, nung araw, ako tinatanong, does anybody know what finance means? Ang sabi ni Gary Leasing, finance, Father, is one of the seven sacraments. <laughs> so I'm using it that in, the, in, the, in that context. Dalawa yun, in that context. So, sino nagkamali? Kung hindi tayo nagbigay ng incentives, magbabayad tayo. Kung magbigay tayo ng incentives sa sobra, magbabayad tayo. So, kailangan talaga ayusin natin. But ang, we must never lose sight of the fact na trabaho ang kailangan natin. Uh, opportunities, equal opportunities ang kailangan natin. Kaya nagmamadali talaga ako dito. Go ahead. Uh, would, would, that be sa, would that be satisfactory to you, uh, Marites? Or uh, Asek, uh, 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 We will provide our input, Your Honor, uh, during the yes. TWG. Uh, better uh, TWG na para mano-mano na uh, makita natin kagad, di ba? Uh, sige po. Okay, sige. And if I have a chance, I will... I will uh, participate. Pero kayo na muna yan. Pero uh, patagal pa kasi. Gusto ko mabilis eh. Go ahead. Uh, who's next? Anybody else have a comment? Honorable Chairman. Mr. Chairman, uh, Greg Pineda, uh, Assistant Secretary of NEDA. May I, Mr. Chairman? Greg Pineda, where are you? Yeah, casino. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, also, uh, with the comment, uh, along with the comment of uh, as a captain, uh, the position of NEDA also is that uh, the tax incentives under the REITs bill must be totally aligned also with the CREATE uh, incentives, Mr. Chair. And uh, in addition, uh, yes, uh, Mr. Chair. In it addition, has been, uh, so adjusted already. So uh, let's move on. I know uh, you work with, uh, what's his name? Your net uh, manager who's uh, uh, working with, uh, uh, with my classmate, Sunny Dominguez. Si no? si? Secretary, Secretary Chua. Chua. Yes, Carl. Oh, yes, yes. Sir. I know your position. In Go ahead. Yes, in addition, Mr. Chair, it is noteworthy that the draft substitute, substitute bill has already considered the previous suggestion during the last technical working group discussion in October of 2020. Uh, that is the definition of uh, the territory of the hub. In particular, Mr. Mr. Chairman, uh, Section 5.G of the Substitute bill now provides that the geographical boundaries of the areas to be developed as a new spatial and economic, uh, spatial economic and free for zones uh, shall be clearly identified to avoid overlap and encroachment with the existing spatial economic and uh, free for zones. However, Mr. Chairman, uh, we have also observed uh, that uh, as raised during the first public hearing and the TWG discussions last year, the proposed rates uh, will impinge so, on the mandates of the existing economic zones and free port authorities, such as the BCDA, SBMA, CDC, IAPECO, and uh, AFAB, uh, TSA, and PESA, and uh, national government agencies, uh, local government units, and regional and local development councils. Also, uh, may we uh, reiterate the policy instance of the cabinet uh, economic team, Mr. Chairman? Um, the, uh, the may answer, that the, excuse yes, me, Mr. Chairman. I, I don't mean to cut you up. I just want to answer point by point. You say it's going to impinge on other economic zones. Precisely. Uh, if they can choose which uh, regime, that's my thinking. If they're near Zambales or Bataan, they can choose between Subic, even Clark. Pare pareho naman yung kanilang GIE. At saka yung pare pareho lahat siya, eh, di ba? Alos, uh, Attorney Esma, am I correct? Uh, Manny, am I correct? Manny Pineda? Uh, General Gardan? In other words, it, it will make it faster. Uh, at least understand that uh, while you can create a new, a new corporate entity, uh, Dundadan, 
hindi basta-basta mangyayari yan eh. Alam niyo kung bakit? Uh, maraming gustong pumasok, hindi na alam kung sino kakausapin. Pinakamabilis, may experience na yung Clark. Clark Business Bureau nila, yung Subic Business Bureau. Pinakamabilis, pumasok doon. Now, kung maglalagay tayo, ito ang sasabihin ko, tatanayin ko ang DNR ngayon. Ha? Yung kukunin mga lupa niyan, may expropriation proceeding pa yan. O kaya, yung mayor ng lugar, meron silang lupa. O kaya, ang DNR may mga available land o yung DNR uh, uh, agrarian reform. Hindi ito basta-basta mangyayari. Ha? Because kailangan magtabi. Ang alam ko, ang bataan, di ba, AFAB, uh, uh, lumalabas na kayo sa AFAB, di ba, uh, Engineer Pineda? Uh, that's correct, uh, Mr. Chairman. We have been allowed by virtue of the amended charter to expand to anywhere within Bataan. Correct. Before, oh, yeah. it's only exclusively within Maribeles. Yeah, correct. Uh, and uh, as you know, there are some uh, people I uh, sent over who wanted to get 300 hectares uh, for a zone, and they would have made uh, masks, face masks, before the pandemic pa yan, ha? And uh, because hindi tayo nakakasa, hindi tayo nakabuna. So, uh, Neda Director Pineda, please uh, be, uh, be conscious of that fact, all right? Uh, it, it, walang impingement, walang infringement or impingement, kamo ganon. Ang sinasabi mo, ibig sabihin, walang intrusion sa domain ng may domain. Precisely, that's what happened. And if I quote you, FedEx, yung kanilang uh, sinasabi ng araw, ang sinabi nila, yung away ng uh, mga ng mga Clark, ng Subic, sila-sila nag-aaway, hindi magkaintindihan. Wala na ako noon eh. eh nakadagdag yan sa pag-alis ng FedEx. Tingnan mo yung timeline ng FedEx nung araw. Hinahanap ng staff ko. Papapakita ko sa inyo. Go ahead. Ano pa yung isang concern mo, uh, Director Pineda? Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. And uh, last point, uh, maybe also reiterate the policy instance of the Cabinet Economic Team, uh, the NEDA, the Department of Finance, and the Department of Budget and Management as related to the Senate and House of Representatives in a joint letter dated August 2, 2019 on the creation of new government bodies, Mr. Chairman. The policy of the administration is to rationalize the organization and functions of government agencies to improve uh, delivery of public services. And for new government corporations, they should be evaluated uh, uh, based on a cost-benefit analysis. Also, uh, there should be a careful determination of whether the proposed uh, new government entity can meet uh, the desired objectives uh, and actually produce uh, better outcomes, uh, Mr. Chairman. So that's all, Mr. Chairman, but we'll be formally submitting uh, the other comments uh, to your uh, office, I, I, I Mr. Don't Chairman. Want to, uh, I'm, not, I'm not stinging. I don't want to be preached on, but it sounded like you're preaching to us, you know. Uh, uh, lahat ng zone na na-create, dapat singilin nyo ngayon pa lang. May mga zone na kin-create, eh ginawa nyo yung create bill na wala lahat ng incentives. Hindi ba dapat ang posisyon natin? Pag hindi nyo magawa yan, then you go to Congress and say, pull out their charter because sayang, ibalik nyo na lang sa local government or national government. Kaya nga sinasabi mo kanina, mag infringe Tapos sabihin mo ngayon, pag nag-create kami, uh, maghinay-hinay kayo dahil ayaw namin nag-create kayo ng create tapos wala naman nangyayari. If you look back at the boulevard of all these broken dreams, lahat nagkaroon ng free port, lahat gusto ng special economic zone, eh, hindi namin kasalanan nyo, kasalanan ng national government yan, na hindi nyo sinita, na kung hindi, if we don't produce, you're out. Diba? O limbawa, sitahin kita. Ano nangyari sa Lalo Airport? Sitahin kita, bakit yung Subic International Airport ngayon lang nagamit? Hindi pa kayo kumukuha. Samantalang nagamit na namin yan ng panahon ko. Lumalanding na mga chartered flights dyan. So, dahan-dahan kayo magsalita. Because, ibabalik ko sa inyo yan. Lalo. I have a picture of Lalo. Nung dumating ako dyan, nabagyo about a uh, uh, couple of years ago, butas ka agad yung mga salamin. Hindi pa nagagamit. Wasak na. So, do not preach to us about gagawa na naman kayo ng zone. Teka muna. Sige, bigay mo sa akin at aayusin natin. Kayo. Sino ang mga zone na gusto niyong isara? That's the way, I'm sorry, that's the way I got it eh. You know, I am, I am not too fond of central government authority. 
the late Emilio Osmeña and I used to call it Imperial Manila. You must always listen to local governments and local communities because closer is better. I've been fighting for this. I even became regional court when uh, I was Secretary of Tourism for Region 3. And you can ask the people then at the time I've been saying this. Because sayang, shall I charge you with the fact that hindi nyo ginagamit yung airport ng Clark, yung airport ng Subic, ha? yung airport ng Manila na dyan. Do you know that when I got FedEx, I I I brought uh, UPS to Clark and I brought uh, DHL. Nagpunta pa sa akin si Larry Hillblom. Sabi niya, we want to go to Subic. Sabi ko, Larry, I'm sorry. God rest his soul. Ha? I didn't even recognize him because he was wearing a t-shirt and maong as Senator Shahani just left. And I shook hands with the guy with the shirt and tie. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not the boss. The boss there is the guy with glasses and uh, t-shirt and uh, rubber shoes. Sabi niya, uh, sir, I want to go into Subic. Sabi ko, I will, you know, refer you to Clark or Manila. Because it's a long runway ko. Clark could have two runways in the future. And Manila is a good runway. And, you know, they all went to us because of our central location. They computed it. They put it on a computer. O ngayon, nawala lahat. Nilamon tayo ng China. O, anong gagawin niyo ngayon? Anong kapalit? O, nawala yung Hanjin. Naghihintay kami hanggang ngayon. Hindi pa nasesetra sa banks. How many people lost their jobs in Hanjin? 27,000. Kung iaasa ko lahat sa central government, patay-patay tayo. You understand where I'm coming from? I'm coming from a mayor that was there for 11 to 12 years. And we fixed up Subic by ourselves. And I'm tired of listening. I, res I listen with respect. Tabigyan nyo kami le-lecture. Oh, gawa. Anong, ba't di nyo pinapara? Kung hindi nag-work, ba't tayo nagsusweldo ng mga taong hindi nagkatrabaho? Diba? Ba't tayo maglalagay sa budget? Andiyan ang government corporate, uh, yung government ang tawag doon, GOC? Government corporations? What do you say, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Samuel Dagpin? Ilan ang mga zones na ginawa na hindi nagtatrabaho, you should be able to make a recommendation, don't you think so? Hey, uh, your Honor, uh, Sir Chairman, uh, yes. based on the DCG law, it's not uh, really part of our jurisdiction, the, except uh, BCDA. And no, but you, 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 you are oversight of the government sa mga corporations, hey. di ba? Government corporations, di ba? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir, but uh, based on the DCG law, export processing zone is not under DCG, except appointment one-third. But let so me... We don't monitor their performance. Let me point out, you check their performance. You check whether they're giving dividends to the government. Is that correct? Uh, yes, but under the GCG oh. law, yeah, uh, it's not... Export processing zone is not under GCG. Only one-third yes. of their appointment. Yes, uh, have no oversight as to their performance. Yes, oversight is part of that. If they're not performing, they're not giving money back to the government. If they're not creating the employment, you would have a very large say in saying, pagsabihan ng NEDA, pagsabihan ng uh, local government, kung local government ang papatakbo naman, pagsabihan ng presidente, oy, kung di kayo kakikilos yan, you're in danger of being extinct. Why would we yes, create German. white elephants? Lugi ka dun eh. Yung mga tao mo, Imbis na yung sweldo mapunta sa eskwela, imbis na magamit yung budget doon sa magpuproduce, pinapasan natin. Yan ang problema. Yan ang tinatawag na political will na pagka hindi umaandar, eh, kunyan, ah, dapat ah, sasabihan sila. Hindi, I'm not lecturing you. Ah. I just, ah, I'm reacting to the statement of uh, Mr. Pineda na let me remind you that uh, meron kaming directive, meron kaming kuha na huwag kayong gagawa ng Eh, nung ginagawa niyo doon sa hindi nagtatrabaho ngayon? Meron ba kayong recommendation, Director Pineda? There are other oversight agencies, Mr. Chair, uh, to look after that. But uh, it, it, can be, it can be subject to further study. But it's a recommendation on the cost-benefit analysis, among others. And the position of the economic team. Submitted to Congress, uh, I'm Mr. Sorry. Chairman. I did so big without a Harvard degree, like your boss. I never even got to the United States to study. But we created jobs in Subic. 
and I use Harvard boys, I use Stanford boys, I use Harvard girls, I use UP, and I use that. I said, lahat ng mga degrees ninyo sa akin ay props. You are there to show the country that even if you're from Harvard, you can work a difference for our country. And they like that because I was teasing them. And so, maho tayo magsalita na ganun. Kung merong problema ang gobyerno, national government yan, gawin nyo na. I'm not trying to pick a fight with you. I'm just saying, may problema. Huwag nyo ako sabihan dito na gagawa na naman kayo. Parang ganun na sinabi mo eh. We are the Congress. We make the policy for business and commerce, etc. All right? I hear you. And I will listen uh, yes, to you. Uh, we understand, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for your understanding. That's, uh, that's uh, comfortable to hear. I was going to say cold comfort, but I don't think I want to slight you. Anybody else? Is that all your comments, Mr. Pineda? Sounds like uh, the comment is here. Go ahead, uh, General Garlan. Thank you, sir. Magandang umaga po. Magandang umaga po. Yes, sir. Sir, meron po akong uh, maliit na humble uh, recommendation. Uh, Central Luzon is uh, vastly uh, becoming a highly urbanized uh, region. And uh, in the future po, ang recommendation ko sana instead of just Central Luzon, uh, why not make it greater Central Luzon area so that uh, other uh, nearby provinces like Pangasinan, Benguet, and uh, La Union, where uh, these provinces are very critical for our food security, Mr. Chairman. That's correct. Uh, yung kanilang resources po ay eventually would uh, benefit Central Luzon. So, yung po ang aking humble recommendation, baka po pwedeng gawing uh, greater Central Luzon area. Tama po yun. Uh, pero, uh... Ito kasi napasa na, pero makikita nyo yung sabihin, may language na ginawa dyan. If you look at the preliminary paragraphs, yung objective, ayun ko kung nagawa ng staff ko kagabi. Tinatrabaho namin ito kagabi. Ako, I had to uh, uh, crash already about 2 o'clock. Sila nagtrabaho pa. That's why I really respect my staff. No? Uh, they work very, very hard and they get a lot of uh, heat from me. But uh, tama yung sinasabi mo, General Garland. But ang nakalagay dyan, we should pave the way to make other regional so we can have region 1 Pangasinan, San Fernando, mayroon Poro Point, di ba? Mayroon tayo sa Pangasinan, gagawa na rin ng airport diyan kung di ako nagkakamali. Mayroon mga ang ang ang, ang kwanyan, eh, agriculture, seafood, uh, agriculture, uh, tapos uh, La Union, uh, and then uh, Ilocosur, yung industries tayo sa mga Ilocano, ang Pangasinan. You, you can do that. At saka, mahilig sa education ng mga tao dyan eh, di ba? So, it's a natural. Now, I I will get in touch with them uh, uh, before we draft this bill. Kung sabi kayo mga governor, kung gusto nila sumakay na dito, you can call it greater. Pero mamaya, baka magkaroon ng uh, uh, politics ng turf. And that's what I don't like. Kailangan merong sariling regional uh, zone because leave them to do their own devices para magawa yan. Pag hindi na nagawa, Hindi masisisi sila sa local government. Sila dyan na naandyan. Kaya naandyan rin sila sa mga board, the mga local government officials. But I like your idea and uh, we'll see whether we can make that work. Uh, I promise you. We'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Uh... Please feel free to make your suggestions. Uh... Uh, Mr. Chairman, I think this was already also slightly discussed by Vice Chair um, Senator Gacheliana a while ago. But i just like also to make a record that the ERC also um, is in the process of submitting a position paper containing its comments on the subject bill. But, Your Honor, um, Mr. Chairman, if I may uh, just discuss it briefly uh, during this morning's hearing book. Uh, are you talking about the, the I, I I am not strong about that. I already told Secretary Gachalian, uh, Senator Gachalian. Okay. If uh, you have suggestions, make your suggestions and we will write it down. I want to finish this right away so we can decide on TWG. Uh, if you want to make a presentation, that's fine with me, but make it uh, quick because uh, I want to hear the rest of the other people. Actually, Mr. Chairman, we are already also submitting our comments in uh, through our letter that 
I think it's just waiting for the signature of our chairperson. Um, but it's also just on the um, jurisdiction of the ERCSA regulator and how this will interact with the existing laws that are already in place, um, vesting the jurisdiction over the regulation of utilities in the um, echo zones that were created under SD 1549. But Your Honor, these are all discussed them and thoroughly in our paper. So um, you can just refer to that when it is submitted to the committee. And anyway, we will have a TWG, okay. uh, uh, okay. uh, no? and I appreciate uh, that you're wanting to work, uh, uh, that, you, you're, you're, uh, that you want to come out with your written uh, comments. Oh, reading letters from uh, <laughs> bureaucracy, gusto ko na confront ko yung tao, ayan ang sinulat ko boss, uh, pag-usapan natin, sabi, 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 sige, paliwanag mo sa akin in your own words para malaman ko kung ano talaga ang ginagamit, walang constraints. So yes, I think WG would be best, okay? Okay, sir. We will be actively participating in that. Thank you, sir. I'm glad, I'm glad you will be. Uh, to the General Gar uh, Garlan, makita mo ito sa clerk, no? This act asserts an overarching strategy uh, for post-COVID-19 pandemic recovery of all regions of the Philippines. It begins with Central Luzon as an eminent engine for economic empowerment. Sabi mo nga, nagiging highly urbanized ang Central Luzon. Pero marami pa rin kulang, eh. Uh, na mga regions dyan, no? even Aurora, even Sambales to a certain extent. Pagkakanya-kanya uh, yan na uh, uh, Sambales is uh, sleeping. They've got a great mango uh, and uh, a lot of other uh, uh, seafood development there. But ang maganda dyan eh, uh, pag nagawa pa yung uh, Hanjin, uh, na I hope they're on the right track. Can you imagine I'm the senator? I'm not even contacted by the national government authorities. Kaya nagiging allergic ako eh. I'm the senator there. And one of these days, they'll hear a privileged speech. Ano ginagawa nyo? Merong national security dyan, at saka merong uh, trabaho na nawala dyan, hindi nyo kami kinukonsulta, eh di pa paano kayo makakapasa? So, yun ang sinasabi ko lang. Uh, at uh, kita nyo dito, of all regions, it begins with Central Luzon as an eminent engine, encouraging immediate domestic and foreign investments there too. Maximizing its... In ito ha, ito yung mga... Uh, one, it's existing interconnected revenue multiplying and job generating infrastructure such as highways. Ilan ang highway sa Central Luzon? Uh, Chairman Garland, di ba? Meron niyang NLEX, uh, uh, Longapogapan uh -huh. Highway, SETEX, TIPLEX, meron pa tayo sa Kabalatuan, right? Meron pa ginagawa from Bulacan to Central Luzon, right? So we yeah. must take advantage of all of this para for development, hindi yung this is a project or so-and-so, Dapat makikita na nagagamit siya mga infrastructure na yan. Uh, in the corridors, you'll see in the corridors all the industrial parks. And I've been to in my, when I was subic in my earlier life, uh, I would see that in America na malalayo yung factories malapit sa highway, malayo sa mga kabayanan para hindi magkakaroon ng traffic. Kompleto na sila, meron na sila doon. Ng mga schools, mga churches, even churches and even malls. So lalabas ka doon sa isang lugar ng expressway, Meron kang bayan na may sariling community na may sariling economic development uh, plan, no? So, ito, uh, you know, uh, uh, building a prosperous tax base, yan ang number one. Pagka nagkaroon tayo ng investments, may trabaho. Pag may trabaho, may pambayad ng tax. I don't have to tell you that. I would be condescending. Upskilling a young, inventive, and energetic labor force and consolidating efforts to a unified vision of leadership and blueprint Guaranteeing swift socio-economic mobility of proactive stakeholders, sustained humanitarian and ecological development, and international socio-economic excellence of the Philippines in a post-pandemic world. The vision is really, magkaroon tayo lahat na nilagyan ng infrastructure, kung gusto nila, they can have a regional uh, infrastructure, uh, you know, development zone, no? So, yan ang vision. Now, kung papayag na magsama yung dalawang region, that would be great. Let's be flexible, as I said. Focus, fast, friendly flexible and forward looking yes sir anybody else ako ganyan lang ako wag niyo akong intindihin na parang ano ko eh gusto ko kasi maintindihan lang yung uh, uh yung vision para we can all sign up on it uh by the way i i credit that objective yung very worthy and very uh explanation of the objectives to my San Beda lawyer and my Ateneo lawyer and my San Sebastian lawyer. <laughs> Napuyat yung mga yan kagabi. 
And that's uh, the, credit, the degree yeah, of uh, trust that I give to them. But um, I love that. And anyway, we can correct it and fine tune it later on. Mr. Anybody Chairman. Else? Yes. Administrator uh, Pineda. Yes, of course. Papa. Yeah. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. And it's a pleasure to be part of this committee hearing. And uh, we thank you for your uh, unstoppable efforts. Uh, yeah, we have to be relentless okay. here about We're that. greeting you. Uh, so uh, uh, we are very happy that uh, we are on the same page in terms of uh, applying the 4F principle that you have been mentioning. 5Fs, 5Fs. The being, 5Fs. Yeah, yeah. Being focused, being uh, friendly, fast, and uh, forward-looking. Uh, uh, that said, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I vividly recall that uh, when you visited uh, the Freeport area of Bataan, you were moved into tears when you saw the realization of your vision to create gainful employment. So when we visited that one hectare uh, area of uh, standard factory building that has been manufacturing uh, luxury bags for export. And uh, uh, with that in mind, uh, we would like to offer some comments and uh, recommendations uh, humbly for your consideration, of uh, particularly uh, on the aspect of uh, uh, coming up with uh, effective and efficient one-stop shop approach. Uh, for the, in particular, uh, referring to Section 11, Paragraph E, uh, uh, wherein uh, there will be the avenue of forum uh, for disputes in so far as labor issues are concerned. Uh, we would uh, recommend and suggest uh, humbly that the, the matter uh, be resolved, uh, giving priority to the uh, respective labor centers of the investment promotion agencies. Uh, if you may recall, Mr. Chairman, uh, the AFAB law, which you uh, authored at the Senate, uh, provides that we have our own labor center. And uh, it has been effectively working vis-a-vis uh, -vis the Department of Labor and Employment such that before any, uh, any uh, issue or labor disputes are raised to the Department of Labor and Employment, uh, it, has, it is first uh, uh, resolved at the level of the AFAB uh, through its labor center. So we find this very effective and uh, it uh, prevents uh, any uh, redundant uh, avenues for those that have other agenda to disrupt uh, industrial peace in the Freeport. So we would like to submit, Mr. Chairman, that uh, we maintain that uh, the disputes be uh, resolved within the la respective labor centers of the uh, investment promotion agencies. And uh, secondly, uh, in so far as the responsibilities of the LGUs, Mr. Chairman, uh, referring to Section 13, uh, the granting, granting of the LGUs uh, power to provide dedicated and streamlined processing services for licenses and permits, uh, hopefully uh, would be worded so that it would not be misconstrued as a recognition of their authority to grant uh, permits and licenses that are otherwise uh, in the ambit of the IPA. For example, uh, inside the Freeport area of Bataan, it has been very clear that uh, all business permits are issued by the authority and uh, it's uh, actually a separate uh, territory vis-a-vis uh, -vis the local government unit. So maybe uh, we can just word this that uh, it should be clear that any other permits for the enterprises and businesses that would operate and locate within the Freeport uh, will be assured of a streamlined process uh, by the uh, respective LGUs. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we received the revised uh, draft of the bill just this morning. And uh, we have a few other comments we will, which we will just uh, uh, submit uh, through a letter, a formal letter to your uh, honorable office, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. 
Thank you, uh, Mr. Pen uh, Manny. Uh, if I was moved to tears there, it was because all the new employees were so thankful that they finally had jobs. I remember there were even Muslims there. Yes, sir. I was really deeply touched. And people all the way from Quezon found jobs there because there are no jobs in Quezon. I know what it means for somebody to get a job uh, and they would travel many, many uh, miles away to find their future, hopefully in our own country. And many of our countrymen have to find their future in foreign shores. And that's why I I work very, very hard. Tatrabaho talaga ako na makakuha ng trabaho ang mga tao. So, uh, uh, there is no egotistic uh, situation here. If I if I sponsored and I authored the bill, you remember the history of that bill. Uh, may yeah. mga tao pang kumukontra sa inyo nung araw. I faced them squarely. Sisigawan sila, dinaregs ako sila. So, gagawin natin ito, makikita nyo, matutuwa kayo. And when I got back, natuwa talaga ako. Talaga dahil yung mga tao doon, sila na nagkukwento sa akin. So, I'm easily... Uh, I'm a very, very soft heart, soft touch. Pero ganun yun eh, ganun yun eh. And I'm sure you are, you all have, you you, you have that feeling na because nung yung sinasaya mo sa Subic, uh, galing naman lahat sa Subic yung natutuhan ko dyan from experience. Alam ni Ami, Ace Mayan, you know, I used to talk with the employees every time they, for the, when they're all hired and they were about to be badge and we tell them what their role is in development. Kaya yung sinasabi mong labor center, we have the one-stop labor center there also. Uh, we'll see whether we should incorporate all the specific details, but we can have a, a template, and I will certainly listen to your suggestions. Uh, uh, you have that in Bataan, we have that in Subic, and I'm sure you have it in Clark as well. Uh, may labor center tayo. No? Uh, uh, yung nga sinasabi ko, not everything can be micromanaged by central government. And... Uh, Be best way to really move faster is let the local communities uh, find their own future. Uh, anybody else? Uh, so we will we will uh, wait for your comments and at the same time schedule a TWG right away. Uh, yes, uh, Attorney Esma, did you want to say something? Chairman Senator Esma, Gordon. excuse me. Yes, sir. Yes, Senator Gordon. Uh, magandang umaga po and thank you for the opportunity. Um, if any, I just would like uh, to um, offer the unwavering support of the Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority to the Rich Bill uh, uh, to the point that our board of directors have uh, issued the board resolution number 2011-1819 in November 10, 2020. Ang pananaw po ng Subic dito is uh, Rich is very important because uh, not only will it help us uh, directly economically but it will also caution the impact of COVID-19 uh, um, which is now even worse when we first discussed this in 2020 and um, hindi ko po to, hindi po namin ito as competition for SBMA but rather a complementary effort um, because all the businesses that will be um, attracted uh, by rich uh, will be uh, Taking, we'll be taking advantage of the existing infrastructure of not only of SBMA but also of Clark and uh, AFAB, and um, it's a very um, it's a very desirable triangle where Rich will be in the middle uh, while Clark, Subic, and AFAB interconnects uh, in more ways than one. Um, the airport, the seaport. Uh, Uh, labor source um, and all other expertise that are already in place because of the many years of experience in SBMA, in Clark, and in um, and in in, in Bataan. Um, hindi rin po namin to kino consider na kompetensya in a sense that as long as an investor comes into the Philippines, it's already a win for all of us. Irrelevant whether it goes to Central Luzon or even in Visayas and Mindanao because we all badly need jobs at this point. And I think, and, 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 and as we all know, moving on in the next, in the many years to come because of the, uh, of the bad impact or the huge impact that COVID has done um, to our economy. So uh, we will actively participate po in any of the TWGs and um, As I have uh, mentioned to the staff, uh, please feel free to reach out to us should there be a need to 
brainstorm or um, get more ideas or suggestions based on our experience on the ground. Kasi po, uh, napakahirap and I'm sure si, uh, si dalawang mani, dalawang sir mani ko uh, from Clark and uh, AFA will uh, will confirm that uh, the locators or investors and businessmen has all these varying concerns from tax holidays to uh, how create is going to be implemented it has been a very difficult road that we are uh, treading at the moment and um sana nga po the fallout that uh, that we have that we experience uh, especially now in covid uh, will even be addressed by rich even more and attract more investors not just to the triangle but to the country yun lamang po marami pong salamat well uh, you know uh... I've always said, uh, I learned after high school and even strengthened in college, strengthened in my political life and service to our country, na dapat talaga, Pilipino muna tayo bago yung ating uh, ethnic background. Pilipino muna tayo bago Ilocano, Pilipino muna tayo bago tayo Bisaya or whatever. Because when we act as a team, we're best. Wala tatalo sa atin. Because magagaling tayo eh. At uh, ma maabilidad tayo. Kaya... Natutuwa ako na sinasabi mo yan kanina, may nagsabi rin yan, si, uh, sino ba nagsabi kanina na yung concern niya na naglabas niya na talagang dapat uh, uh, yung mga tao sa labas, uh, nito hindi isipin na wala. I remember when I was first chairman of Subic, ako, yung mga kaibigan ko si Batara, na-insecure sila sa amin yan. Ganun ang usapan eh, wala eh. <laughs> Pag nawala ka na, ano sa amin? Ang, ang, ang may-ari niyan, tao, yung makikinabang. Hindi, hindi, we're not at yung paternity. Uh, nakakatakos yung paternity because ang nangyayari, maraming illegitimate children ang nangyayari pagkaganon. So, ang sinasabi ko lang is, uh, let's just think of the community first before everything else and I'm glad you, you made mention of that fact uh, because that's the way we must act. Uh, so, let's go into the, ang, ang, ang concern ko lang, halimbawa, eh, uh, mamaya magiging issue dyan, sharing ha. Yung sharing ng mga uh, provincial governments and mga ganyan, yung palagi iniisip. And hindi ko naman masisi sila. Siyempre, gusto rin nila may sharing. Ang ayoko ma, ang gusto ko mali, salimbawa nung Hanjin nung araw, nakuha natin yan, pahirapan, wala ka pa nung sa Subi ka, Ami, uh, Chairman Esma, nando kasama kita nung bata, <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, you grow to be a lawyer and you've risen to uh, uh, to be chairman of SBMA after you're seen at a very major global corporation. Let me just say uh, that uh, uh, ayoko mangyari yung nangyari nung ari. Yung Hanjin magtatayo sana sa Cagayan de Oro. May dalawang mayor doon ang inisip kagad si Eddie. Pag pumunta ka rito, akin yung graba, akin yung mga bata ko, ipapasok ko dyan, doon tayo namamatay. And pagka kinausap mo na yan ganyan, believe you me, sa dami ng kinausap kong negosyo ng mga, lalo ng mga hapon, napaka-allergic sila dyan. Saka yung peace and order, napaka-allergic ng mga hapon dyan. They want to be safe. So lahat dyan, kakailangan natin ang support ng lahat. So I advise Subic and Clark and all of you, mitimitingin nyo na yung mga tao natin unti-unti para ma madala doon sa kanyang pag-iisip na pagka may nangyaring ganyan, at least lalakas lalo because if more people have money to buy, walang problema eh. Uh, may pambilis sila eh. So, yun ang gusto ko sabihin. No? At saka yung mga... Uh, alam ko, magkakaroon tayo ng konti problema sa revenue stream. So, uh, it, uh, yung mga existing uh, zones na nagbibigay ng revenue sa mga syudad, ako, ako ang, ang feeling ko dyan eh. Wala namang ginawa, let's say, even yung bayan natin, ah, hindi ko nakikita kung saan nadadala yung pera. Kaya kailangan gusto ko makita, I don't want to bring politics here, no? But I want to see na pagka may binigay na pera, talagang makikita kung saan nadadala yun. May proposal, di ba? Hindi, hindi entitlement. So maybe that's one of the things you can put up and I'm, I'm really to, we're very liberal. Uh, all the governors support this, all the mayors supported it. I don't know if anybody who objected to it. But we'll, we'll uh, yung mga representatives ng governors na andyan, uh, Magsalita kayo para maalain na natin kung anong gusto yung mangyari dyan. Alright? Uh, meron ba? Yes, dear. May I name the chair? By yes. the name of Tipo uh, Attorney EMB Region 3. 
Hi. Yes, well, good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. I am Attorney Gloria Diana Duluan for EMB Region 3. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Mr. Chairman, we indeed support the objective of this uh, proposed bill that is to accelerate e e economic growth as it, at the same time to provide um, jobs for our fellow Filipinos. Uh, however, Mr. Chairman, we cannot deny that with the increased number in industries, uh, it will often uh, lead to um, negative effects, especially uh, impact to the environment, such as um, air pollution, water pollution. So uh, with that, uh, Mr. Chairman, um, we understand that the bill itself uh, recognizes the environmental, the range of environmental impact towards water and air and even waste management, among others. But we have a concern, uh, Mr. Chairman, particularly Section 6, um, letter item letter S, um, on the powers of the rich, um, wherein it provides here that the rich has um, a power to adopt, implement, and enforce ecological and environmental standards and measures for environmental pollution control and management in areas under its jurisdiction. Uh, this provision, uh, Mr. Chairman, do we find it um, too broad? It is uh, vulnerable for um, multiple interpretations as a uh, are existing environmental laws such as the Clean Water Act and Clean Air Act um, already uh, vested with the EMB the um, responsibility to implement and enforce um, the law okay. such as the issuance of discharge permits, uh, permit to operate air pollution control sources. Uh, and installations. So our uh, concern uh, with this provision, Mr. Mr. Chairman, is that may we um, also um, clarify or seek clarification if uh, it if the intention of the bill is to divest sole authority or exclusive authority to the rich with respect to all um, pollution laws, such as um, the. Clean Water Act and um, Clean, uh, Clean Air Act, or would it be like um, the EMD will be exercising over uh, oversight function over reach? So we would like, um, all right, so in short, uh, Mr. Chairman, may we know the extent or the scope of the um, implementation and enforcement power of the reach? Gloria. Have you ever seen the the law that created the BCDA? Have you ever read it? Have you ever read the BCDA law? Uh, yes, yes, by Mr. Chair. I mean, I mean what's the number? Uh, Republic Act number 7227, ba? 7227, sir. 7227. Right. If you look at SBMA law, I think there are only three or four provisions on SBMA. And Clark is just treated as another special economic zone until I created a free port out of it and Marivelles was not even it and we created, I authored the uh, free port of, of Marivelles. All of them in their rules and regulations clarifies your concerns. Clarify your concern. When we did speak from those three or four provisions of the law, we worked with the World Bank and that's what I intend to do here or work with you. You were represented environment and nobody is more concerned about the environment than Subic. You still have the triple canopy forest of Subic. Have you been there? Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman, that, but I was never been in uh, Subic. You've never been to Subic? Yes, I'm sorry. I apologize. Yes. And you're in you know, um, energy management board. Uh, come on. I don't know, environment I just, management uh, bureau, right? I understand, but I'm new with the I'm new with the agency, Mr. Chair. Yeah, but I mean, even then, a lot of young people went there. But yeah, you know, yes, we, we created. Busy. What I'm trying to say is, we created our rules and regulations with the World Bank, and in the process, uh, uh, we uh, we were able to maintain the uh, cleanliness, the, the the integrity of the environment. The forest remain. We're even very strict when people go fishing there. You have to catch only a certain size of fish, or you have to re, uh, you have to return it, and it's only for consumption. Uh, 
Ako mismo, nang huli ako ng spearfishing, mga gwardiya pa ng subig, napakulong sila. Uh, nakita namin sa kabilang ibayo, inaakit yung likod, pinuputo lang kao eh. Uh, pinuntahan namin yan. Uh, at uh, nahuli namin. Pinamatay pa nga doon nung naghuli yan eh. My point is, the local community should really be worried and should really take care of it. But you cannot, uh, I'm saying, it will always be we will always be following national laws, but when you make a special law, kung ang intention natin is to make uh, it more, uh, you know, mas madaling pumasok, mas madaling makipag-usap yung mga foreign investors, you can have oversight functions over that, like Congress has an oversight function. And uh, uh, I'll let Attorney Aisma answer the question para magulat siya. Attorney Aisma? Attorney Aisma? Yes, sir. Opo, it nandito po. Do you have problems with the environment there? Uh, maybe uh, the uh, Attorney Gloria has not uh, had uh, a chance to go there. Uh, have you ever had problems on the environment? Uh, sir, we sir, have... the procedure for uh, any investment here in Subi, uh, whether big or small, uh, they will have to pass um, ecology uh, ecology parameters. Uh, we have our own ecology center. Uh, which uh, works very closely with the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Uh, should there be a, say for an example, a, a, a plot of land, should there be a need to cut a tree, uh, everything would have to be followed. All the rules of the national environmental rules has to be followed, including replacements if it becomes necessary, if the cutting of a tree becomes necessary. So um, rest assured. Stop, stop there for a while, I mean, I mean. Stop there for a while. Uh, Ma'am, uh, Attorney Gloria, has the, uh, yes, Mr. Chairman. Has, has, has the MB ever fined anybody? What was your biggest fines? Sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, what, your, what was your biggest fine? fine? I think, uh, I don't remember the figure, but if you remember, there's a ship that was um, na, 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 di, there will be ships na pag magsispill ng oil, ba, oil. sir? Spilled oil, right? Yes, yeah, spilled oil. Um, but sir, had, uh, uh, but sir since uh, the previous experience of spilled oil, uh, mas naging vigilant na po tayo at uh, meron na pong systems in, in place uh, na binabantayan po, nire-record and binabantayan po yung mga ships, um, including their waste para hindi nila tinatapon sa dagat, para pong ganun. So... Um, and as you know, we also have our own harbor patrol to ensure na uh, ang patrolling ng ating karagatan is constant. Hindi po kami umaasa lang sa Coast Guard. Though meron din pong Coast Guard dito, meron din kaming sariling harbor At patrol. At meron tayong mga boat na magbimitigate kung may oil spill, di ba? Yes, sir. Meron po. Pinili niyo, pinili niyo nung araw, nung pumalit sa akin, di ba? Yes, sir. Dami -dami yes, sir. Nun, meron po. Pero, uh, and you are aware, I was asking Attorney Gloria ko nung fine. Alam mo, finayin ko nung araw yung Enron. Yung kanilang, uh, yung kanilang uh, uh, power plant. Umuusok, ginagamit na yung lumang power plant ng US Navy. Sabi ko, pag ginamit nyo yan, gusto ko makita na irresponsible kayo. The CEO came in, Kenley, and I said, I have to find you. And they paid 2 million pesos and they fixed it right away. Alright? Uh... I have gone okay on occasion gone out to see. Ang, ang, ang problema natin eh, may EMB tayo, mayroon tayong DNR. Pero yung mga basurang kinakalat na limbawa sa Manila Bay or even in Olongo po, in Subic Towns. Kung dating ng bagyo, makikita mo nagkakaroon ng basura. I'm a fisherman. Galit na galit ako pagka may mga plastic because mamatay yung mga isda at pagka na manguhuli ka, nahuhuli mo, panay plastic. So, ini-enforce na kami yan sa Subic, no? And narinig mo yung sinabi ni Attorney Ispa na in coordination with you, may, co may coordination. So, pag-usapan na lang yun sa TWG because kaya tinanong kita kung nagpupunta ka doon because napakahigpit namin dyan. Bawal pumatay ng ahas. May tigahuli kami ng ahas. Ibabalik siya sa jungle. Tama ba yun, Attorney Ispa? Yung fire department dati, pag nakakita ng ahas, di ba, inuhuli? Binabalik, sir. Bina... Lahat, sir, po ng wildlife, even sir, here, yung mga monkeys, kahit na nakakasagabal na sila sa traffic, uh, nakakalat ng basura, hindi po yan hinahant. 
in fact uh uh we don't allow people feeding the monkeys right apa kasi ayoko po yung, ayoko yung handout eh political handout pati yung, pati unggoy binibigyan nila ng pagkain eh uh, ayaw na tuloy yung mag forage ng mga unggoy so we banned that in fact ma'am attorney gloria yes, i got yes, there yes, yes. Uh, the aita community there now owns subic bay Totoo lang, we have an agreement with them. Na meron silang share sa environment. They have livelihood. They teach us a conservation of the forest. They teach people how to survive in the jungle. So, kami ginagawa namin yan. Eh, ayoko maningil sa inyo. Kasi hiling ko kayo magtatampo na naman kayo sa akin. Eh, nakikita ko yan eh. Gumawa tayo dito sa Manila Bay. Eh. Maganda naman. Hindi ako maangal. Medyo mahal lang. Pero nung biglang bumagyo, ay lahat ng basura o makikat doon sa ang tali, Dolomite Beach. Di ba? Hindi ko yung atake yan. May, basta maganda, gawin natin. Pero eh, before you start thinking of uh, it enclosing, mag-usap muna kayo. Eh, pag nag-usap tayo, ay, saka natin ayusin. Okay? So, I, you'll be part of the TWG. And I, I suggest you go and go to Subic and see the environment there. Yes, yes, uh, Mr. Chairman. So uh, we will uh, also submit, uh, Mr. Chairman, our official position paper for the consideration of, of course, the TWG. Let me be frank and candid. I will repeat again what I said. Maganda mag-submit. Marami sinasubmit. Wala nagbabasa ko minsan. Hindi ko sinasabi ni Stan ko hindi babasahin. Pero mas gusto ko mag-submit kayo, bupo kayo, isa-isayin nyo, katulad ng ginagawa natin dito, Maka hindi natin mapaandar ito, hindi natin mapairal ito, tuloy-tuloy magagawa ka agad. Pwede ba yun, ma'am? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Chairman. Mas mabilis yun, ma'am? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay, anybody else? Anything else here? Any other questions? So, uh, if there are no Mr. more questions, yes. Uh, sir, uh, Mr. Chairman, do, do the... Arlene Pascual is recognized, although I cannot see you. You're in the dark. <laughs> Wait, sir. Yes. Press the... I already did. Stop video. Yeah. You need to work later. It's... Yeah. <laughs> so, sir, magandang hapon po. I am Arlene Pascual. I'm the Provincial Planning and Development Coordinator of the Provincial Government of Bulacan. Yes. So, um, uh, yung na-mention niyo, sir, na uh, borderlessness, uh, that we believe... Sandali, that sandali. Po... Can you take off your mask because nahihirapan ako mapakinggan ka? Meron kang bang katabi dyan? Wala po, sir. Oh, wala pala. Di... <laughs> so, you... oh, sir, thank you, sir. So, ano po, sir, I believe that uh, the borderlessness uh, of Region 3 will conclude inclusive growth. Sorry? Uh, and will uh, will promote inclusive growth, sir. Yeah, yeah of course, of course. Uh... Uh, and uh, the Honorable uh, Chairman, being a former LGU elected official, I'm sure will take care of the LGUs in the uh implementation of the rich bill so in that in that light your honor um uh, i would i would just like to um uh impress uh on some points like will the local revenue sources of lgus be affected as uh, prescribed in the local government code to the passage of the of the rich bill and uh, would the lgu get a share a uh, fair share from uh, from the tax impositions of the rich bill mr chair thank you very much even before you ask that arlene i raised that already Anina, i don't know if you heard me uh, i'm sorry sir your revenue sharing no uh you know sabi ko nga eh, pag nag revenue sharing dapat talaga may sine share tayo pa pa tayo mag share kung walang cooperation at hindi magtatrabaho dapat talaga magtrabaho lahat at tumulong Ba, pag nagkaroon ka na ba, sabihin, na, sabihin natin, sa, sa maraming lupa, sa Kalumpit, sa Malolos, uh, sa San Miguel, sa Bulacan, di ba? Maglalagay dyan ng industrial park. 
By the way, pwede rito, alibawa, yung may-ari ng lupa, pwede siya mag-apply na sarili niya, siya ang maglagay ng industrial park niya at kakabit niya sa Clark Field kung gusto niya or he can have uh, parang PESA, no? Special Economic Zone. Pwede rin yan, no? And yes. uh, yung sharing, pag-usapan ninyo sa TWG. I mean, right now, may share lahat ng mga communities. In fact, kahit na hindi kasali dyan, eh, sumasali, di ba? Dati, originally, Subic, Olongo po uh, lamang, uh, pero Castillo, San Marcelino, umabot na sa San Antonio. Tama ba yun, uh, Attorney uh, Esma? Yes, sir. There are now nine municipalities and one, uh, eight municipalities and one city um, who benefits uh, from, or what we call the LGU shares coming out from the 5% GIE uh, that's tax, GIE tax uh, that is being paid by the locators po. Ayun, ayun ang sagot doon. Ang answer ko, kailangan lang, ang sinabi ko kanina, dapat pag magsasubmit, project-based. May project kami dito, dito paglalagyan ng project para hindi naman uh, whim and caprice. Alright? Di ba? Do you agree, uh, uh, Arlene? Do you agree? Arlene Pasquale? I agree, Mr. Chairman. Hmm. So, I'm a former local government official. That's why I'm very sensitive for national government. Yes. Uh, uh, yes, uh, problem. <laughs> so we feel confident, sir, Mr. Chairman. We uh, feel confident that the LGUs will not be left out in this endeavor. No, 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 of course not. It's for you. Yes. It's for you. Uh, ayoko lang yung pagkasama kayo sa board. Ilalagay ko yung asawa ko, ilalagay ko yung anak ko. Uh, di ba? <laughs> eh, dapat talaga professional rin ang ilalagay nyo para mag-succeed. The success of one is the success of all. Hindi ito pagkakataon na kahit na hindi nakakaintindi uh, na kung ano ilalagay natin, eh, bahala kayo pagka ganun eh. Uh, may pinapanood ako kay Lee Kuan Yew, eh, sabi ganun, it's up to you if you choose to elect uh, charlatans, jokers, ones with the give of gab, you will pay for it and you will regret it. Sabi niya ganun. No? And that's mm -hmm. why I say, paglagay kayo pero mga professionals. Kaya pati yung Seven members of the board na binago ko kagabi, dapat may urban planner, may nagpo-promote. And by the way, kayo mismo pwede mag-promote because you have computers and you can say, we're part of this zone here. Come over. Meron na kayong ibibenta. Si governor may ibibenta na. Ito, ito lugar na ito. Develop ito. Kasama ito dito sa Richville. And come over. Tama yung sinasabi kanina ni, ni Willie Wang ng uh, SBDMC. As in, tutulungan tayo ng Department of Finance. I hope nasasabihin, eto talaga, klarong-klaro ang makukuha niyong natitirang uh, incentives dito sa create para ang tao, hindi papasok tapos sasabihin, binago naman niyo yung patakaro niya. Eh, hindi natin pwede gawin yan. Masyado tayong napapasok dyan sa mga ganyang patakaro. So malinaw yan. We will protect, I mean, I'm here to protect the people, not the yes. local government, the people Thank itself. You Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat, that, that was a very uh, good, I mean, and you, somebody was going to bring it up. Kasi kung di mo bring up, maybe bring up ko na uli. So we will talk about that uh, in the technical working group para malina, okay? Yeah, we will submit and also our, our some other para, comments. For... Para may performance. Go ahead, uh, yeah, Arlene. Yeah, we will also uh, submit other comments to that PWD. Of course, of course, of course. Free country. Thank you, sir. Thank you okay, very thank much. You. Anybody else? Any other comments? Okay, in that case, we will announce when we'll have the technical working group uh, meeting. Uh, the earliest possible date for TWG would be September 9. Uh, what date is that? Thursday or Friday? Thursday? Okay, 11 a.m. Nagugutom na kagad siya mga tao. Siguro 10 o'clock would be decent. Huh? 10 a.m., 10 a.m., September 9. Everybody agree? Uh, uh, Department of Finance, NEDA, EMB, lahat kayo, local governments, uh, dyan na tayo pumasok. Kayo ang gagawa ng batas, ipapahin tune lang natin para walang magko-collision course para pag na-approve ito, tuloy-tuloy yan. Kung ako yan, eh, uh, I would make a deal with the uh, ilang experience ko, World Bank, they will uh, They'll provide the grant and they will get the experts on how we can make this uh, zone be the model for the entire country so that we can get investment so we can get jobs. 
That's my suggestion. Did we do that, Ami? Uh, were you there already? Uh, uh, you were not yet my EA then, but uh, we had uh, all the experts from uh, World Bank. You know what they even said? You're not going to have ships there, Mr. Mayor. Mayor pa na. Pagbalik ko, they threw a party for me. You know why? Because the ships were back. Because the ships were in. And the name, Merce, and the name, American President Lines, and they were loading. So, pagka, and unloading. So, yan ang kailangan natin. That's why, uh, pagka committed tayo, mas mabilis tayo. And that's why, tumulong ang World Bank, napagawa namin yung airport, inabon namin sa APEC, inabon namin sa FedEx, yan ang requirement ng FedEx, napagawa namin yung, you can do anything, provided united kayo, strong yung government ninyo, at uh, disente, walang kurakot, this country will grow. That is really the formula for uh, our country's uh, uh, regeneration. New life. New life. Okay? So, you're all on notice. September 9 at 10 a.m. We'll meet you in the uh, world of cyber, cyber world. I remember I had a slogan before. Subic Bay, bringing the world to the Philippines and the Philippines to the world. By satellite, you know, by, by, by air, by land, by sea, by satellite, and by cyberspace. And this is what we've done already. So we're there. We had FedEx at the time, by air, by land, mayroon kami tunnel na ginawa. Ngayon, nagdagdagan pa. And by sea, of course, kung nakuha natin si Lee Cushing, mas mabilis. Pero dyan na yan. We just have to work our way uh, to development. And those of you who worry about uh, the prerogatives of your agencies, it's right for you to worry. It's right for you to help guide us. Uh, but uh, it's, it's also your duty to help us improve it. Okay? So thank you very much. And uh, uh, Cherry? Cherry? What's this, Cherry? Cherry. 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 Uh, Elitoria, Elitoria na kikita niya yung araw ang pangalan niya, Mirasol <laughs> Mirasol uh, Cherry, you make the arrangements please uh, so that we can have this uh, technical working group and then we can uh, finally uh, submit the bill uh, I would like to ask Mr. Pineda to talk to uh, your congressman because siya nag-file ng bill ang akala ko na-approve na, hindi pa pala na-approve sa lower house so if that is approved in the lower house, dapat mas mabilis tayo para we can uh, uh, do this. The elections are forthcoming and I don't want this to be stranded uh, by uh, by uh, politics. So uh, thank you We'll much. do that, Mr. Chairman. We will do that. Thank you very much. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo at ako yung nagpapasalamat kung kayo ay, you know, we had a very frank, candid, and uh, hopeful uh, uh, directions that have been set here. Maraming salamat sa inyo. God bless the Republic of the Philippines. Mabuhay kayong lahat. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Chairman. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Mabuhay. Thank you, Thank you. Mr. Chair.